Wow, break in the law, break in the world tenderness. Wow, break in the rule judgment. <coughs> oh, hi chat. Hello. Crash. 23 months. Oh, we just listened to this twice. How you doing, Crash? So the 23 months, one away from two years. Ugh. Yeah. I really want to do something. I'm just, I've just been sat here all day just, like, doing nothing. So. <clears throat> we're going to continue judgment. Let's go in again. Yeah, they can lad, you're probably not here, but hope you have a good day at school, man. And Henful and Miss Fox, howdy howdy. We're gonna be playing Judgment. We're gonna do a little bit of catching up. You're right, a little tired, but excited for Judgment. Yeah, Pog Pog. Let's uh, go ahead and unmute the game. Because I want to do a little bit more of a catch up. Than we have done before. Okay. Chapter one. Uh huh. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, it's all flooding back into my head now. Ooh, can't remember his name. But it's, uh, Broski's old bro. I'm gonna watch the previously on this one, and we're gonna watch the previously on the next chapter as well. Uh. At the mole's murder of Shintani, the police begin to suspect Yagami and subpoena him. So this should fill you guys in as well. Present become a what happened last time? At the ADDC. At one point, the land it sits on had been the target of a redevelopment scheme. And behind that plan, the Kansai-based construction company, the Kajihira Group, and its chairman, Shigeru Kajihira. I am Mr. X. This was a really short chapter. There was only two. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. And we left it when they suspected uh him uh bad cop in the roaring wind. din of the city the death of the addc's vice director hardly made a sound behind his death are the vast profits of the 89 drug yagami arrives at the possibility that all the deaths were premeditated But the prosecution's eye for such detail is wanting, and Detective Ayabe is indicted for Shintani's murder. Oh, Ayabe. <coughs> Those were some pretty short previouslys. They're keeping them small now. Okay, and then if I remember correctly, we're trying to find the captain because he knows who the real killer is. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we started talking to Poppy. This guy. Boys. Boss? I don't understand my boy you need to stay away from Hamura the mole's my top priority now and Hamura is the only person I can ask don't you understand Hamura's been compromised him and that mole you're chasing they're in this together time to let it go and we don't what let it I go no I couldn't tell you what might happen. He's dangerous. What do you mean he's dangerous? Okay. 
And we all have a fight. I can't remember if he tells us or not. But this was the last cutscene we saw when we stopped playing. So we're gonna watch this one. And we'll start playing. And stay down, <coughs> asshole. Oh, flashback. Not gonna be that easy. Oh. You're really laying it on him, Kaito. Dude, I just realized. Okay, okay, I looking at this here, I feel like uh I stopped mid-chapter, but I didn't. That was the end of the chapter. So now we're gonna get new info. Okay, we're going. Uh we want this one. Actually 23 hours. Hey, pay attention. Let's hit it. Find Tashiro. Oh, Tomioka san put some food in here. This is meat and potato stew. Save it for later. Actually, no, I'm gonna eat it now. <coughs> Yummy. Man, that's good. No, bro. He following me? He is. And my worry is, chat, that I'm gonna have forgotten <laughs> the combos. Breaking the world. That's a big ass traffic cone. Oh, is that a Majima reference? Or is that just a thing? Sorry, I got judgment stuck in my head. Nothing under it. Here we go. Ashiro. Hey, do you have a second? Welcome, sirs. Table for two? Actually, we want to ask you a question. This place is a Matsugane joint, yeah? Uh, yes, sir. Why do you ask? We're looking for somebody. You know a guy named Tashiro? Tashiro? Flashy jacket, always wears his sunglasses. You gotta know the guy. Oh, him. There you go. I knew you'd know him. Any idea where he is? <laughs> Actually, he was in the club just a second ago. A customer was giving us some trouble, though. So he saw them out, personally. I'm guessing they didn't go out for drinks. Where did Tashiro take him? Probably toward Tenkaichi. <coughs> he said there's a back alley nobody ever goes in there. Smart. If you're gonna beat the crap out of someone, better to do it where nobody's gonna find you. Sometimes I think you kind of miss doing that shit. Anyway, <laughs> let's get moving. Right. Thanks, pal. Oh, of course. Bye. Where'd you go? I wanna. If I see any gangs on the street, we're gonna get into a fight. I need to limber up. Yo, Orca, how you doing? Breaking the law. Doing good. I'm doing good. Thank you. Why do I keep pressing in the left stick? Here we go. Uh oh. <laughs> Got called Olga the other day, so it's okay. No, I'm, I'm sorry. What a waste. 
So <sighs> right trigger is to activate heat mode. Ashiro. Uh yeah, okay. LB is block. Hey Leonis, you haven't missed anything. All you missed was nothing, because there wasn't even a cutscene when I started playing. Um, just gotta rub my eye. I've got judgment stuck in my head, so. The song's so good. If they're not down here, then they'll be down here. Listen, Fucking bad, you, you have to wait fuck. for him before he you your wife dog shit. You can look, Batman. but not touch. <laughs> Please, I never touched anyone! Huh? Bullshit, you didn't! The girls know all about your pervy ass! There he is. Tasha Rakur. You, uh, weren't kidding about how he dresses. I'm actually kind of impressed. Huh? Wait, you're Yagami! That's oh, me. Congrats. You recognize the guy your whole family's after. Shut it, asshole! Um, I I'm just gonna... Hey, get the hell back here! Damn it! He got away because of you! Let me guess. You made that up to try and squeeze cash out of the poor bastard. A guy like that would cop a feel even if your girl wanted it to. Huh? The fuck do you know? Huh. Sounds like you were right on the money. Of course. That's how shit goes around here. It's only fair that we take his clothes, yeah? <laughs> what do you mean? <coughs> what the hell are you talking about? Let's take his clothes, chat. Yeah. We're done. Won't be long. Promise. Fuck off! You got any idea how much these threats cost? Not a one. But you know how dangerous Kamuro Cho is. Should have expected somebody want to jump you. We won't have to hurt you if you just hand them over. Everything will stay nice and clean, too. It's a win win. So, are you stripping or not? What kind of question is that, pretty boy? If you want my clothes, <laughs> breaks his neck real quick. Off. And then, there we go. I remember the buttons, chat. Come on, bitch boy. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, I got it, I got it. The only thing I need to remember, chat, is combos. Full run. Kaito! Thank you, bro. You're gonna have to be Okay. Let's just get this over with, talk. Yep. Don't want anyone walking in on this. <laughs> Shit. This guy's fucking loaded. His wallet's burst into the goddamn seams. Don't take his money. We're not thieves. Yeah, yeah, I know. Wait, don't clothes count as stealing? Like I said earlier, we're just borrowing them for a bit. If you say so, you're the lawyer. Yeah. They fit even we took his hand too? Expecting. You look good, Doc. What? That's the last thing I want to hear. Anyway, you better get to the Matsugane office and plant those bugs before our friend wakes up. Speaking of, Kaito-san, think you can take care of him? Huh? What do you mean? We can't leave the guy naked outside this time of year. But he's still got his hair! Always a big softy. Huh? Sure, I'll handle him. Can't go with you anyway. Not looking like regular old Kaito. Thanks. Talk. Are we gonna Don't kiss? Mess this up. I won't. <laughs> he had spare hair. Hello? Hello? What's up, Jessa? Okay, I skipped the line of dialogue. Get out in front of the Matsugane office. 
All right, I'll be right over. Oopsie. Yeah, I, I actually do look kind of sick, though. I kind of want to just walk the whole way there. Like, who's gonna fuck with me, man? I don't want to get blood on these threads. Oh! Chat, type something. I don't know why my PC does that. Okay, you, I see you guys moving still. Um, randomly my screen just like, everything goes black for a split second. Well, my OBS has crashed. But I, my Google hasn't. That was weird. <coughs> so I can see the the game moving in the little preview still on Twitch. It does it with any time I play a game in full screen. Even borderless full screen. It's not OBS. Good tune. I was thinking, as soon as I started running in this game, that I never used the taxis in this game. And I probably could have used the taxi to get here much quicker. But I'm just so used to running in this town. Hey, Jester. I can't remember so what Jester's name is. Oh, Segura. Ugh. Hey, Segura? Sorry, I think you have the wrong guy. I just can't help it. We don't have. What a joker, am I right? I can't help it, man. That's the loudest disguise I've ever seen in my life. Maybe you want to try planting these instead. Sorry, sorry. It's it's perfect, honest. Yeah, whatever. Can we get this over with now? Yagami san, I should be able to get a read on the bugs right after you set them. Just come on out when you're all done. Got it. So, you ready? I need oh. a little time. I am ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah, good to go. <laughs> oh, laughing at me, man. I feel like he's actually laughing at me. It's really not that funny. It's really not that funny. Love this guy. Uh, Orca, he is so much cooler than you think. If you think he's the coolest anybody can fucking be, he's way cooler. I I'm just saying. Oh, stylish as ever, Tashiro. Me and you, we gotta hit the club sometime. I didn't skip that. I I didn't skip that. <laughs> hey, Tashiro. All clear at Emerald Hills? Not. Glad you can take care of yourself. We got enough to worry about looking for Yagami. Uh, by the way, mind keeping an eye on the office for me? Gonna head to the convenience store, grab a snack. I'll be back in five. Doesn't look like you noticed. Conveniently, I'm alone now. I gotta set these bugs before he gets back. Five minutes! Hey. I bought this coffee maker for matagana san with my very first paycheck. He was so happy I gave it to him. He still uses it, though. Hmm, if the coffee maker's here, then there has to be an outlet nearby. Where is it? What the? The maker cord goes behind the potted plant. That means there has to be an outlet back there. Let me try moving this. Suspicious. Knew it. I'll plug. Put a blood. Pl I'll put a bug here. Hey. Oh look, a cat. Yeah, fuck you. I'm not spending forever looking for you guys again. I see one. Suspicious. Found one. I'll put one here. Uh. The TV. Oh. We need one more outlet. Uh, yeah. Hey. It's an outlet. I'll put one here. 
All right, that should do it. That one's really obvious. <coughs> Could use another, but this is probably fine. Actually, I feel kind of unsatisfied. I'll put one in Matsugana Sans room just in case. Well, I attack the Patriarch's office. Uh. Uh. Hmm. One minute. Dude, I don't know Japanese layouts, man. Uh, could could do, do Japanese places ever have outlets up top? Sorry. The phone. <laughs> I broke the coffee table. Eh? I mean, that one's quite. Oh, I love Dharma. Oh, ah. that's quite high. Um, I guess it's behind this, no? Aha! Suspicious. Put one here too. Thank you. Hey, it's it. Yagami. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Now hurry up and get your ass down here. Got it. What the hell are you doing, Tashiro? You know no going in the boss's room without permission. If anything happened, it'd be on me. The hell are you ignoring me for? Say something, damn it! Not the glasses. What Did you knock the mask off, too? <laughs> uh, guess I'm busted, huh? You got balls climbing into the lion's mouth knowing you're just gonna get eaten. Ah! Katana! Don't let this asshole leave here alive! to the guy with the sword. Oh! You're my teeth. Where'd my shades go? That's my chance! <laughs> You're not getting away that easy. Say your prayer, shithead! Uh, whoa, we have laws against those, you know. Laws? Says the guy who's trespassing! Hey, hey, hey! Damn it. <coughs> Jessa! What the? That'll work. Where did he go? <laughs> uh, must have been the wind. That was a close one, Yagami san. Did you cut the lights back there? Yep. Heard everything thanks to the bugs. Flipped the breaker at the last second. Thanks, Sugira. You saved my life. Won't be safe for long if we stick around here. Let's get moving. Yeah. How the fuck? You just turn off the lights, I'm invisible. I think we're safe now. What about the bugs? Can you hear what they're saying? Give me a sec. That's all it takes? Yep. Well, everything seems fine. Sounds like they're making a call already. <gasps> to the man of the hour himself, Hamura. They're reporting what just went down. Can you tell where he's hiding? One sec. Uh, something about Chohan? Isn't that some kind of dice game? 
Guess he's at a gambling hall then. But where can you play Chohan? If we want to gamble, all we have to do is ask a gambler. And I think I know just the spot. <laughs> oh, you mean the casino? The one under court? Yes. Somebody there has to know where to find Chohan in this town. Chat, you know what that means. Sure. Guess in that case. Yeah, I'll handle it from here. Got it. Thanks for the backup, though. Leonis knows. Leonis knows. Hmm? Who's this from? Him. Help one of those kite gang leaders rounded up a bunch of guns and started wreaking havoc in the streets. None of them will quit until they find you, so please don't let anyone hurt my people. Fuck's sake. I mean, I'm busy, Kim. Kim always calls at the worst times. Nice. Completely forgot we had that move. Let's just do it to all of them. <laughs> Down bad, shut the fuck up. You would, you, you just don't understand because you haven't seen it yet. When you see it, then you'll start believing. Okay, Orca, you need to relax. <laughs> Not a wise choice. Hello. You like bicycles? Okay, dude, we'll see. And we've got a lot of heat. I don't know where I got all that heat from. <coughs> <laughs> Sorry, everything just kind of exploded when I walked into it. Hey, bud. Got it. Oh. There they are, bro. My, my bunny? My bunny? Chat, should we do some gambling whilst we're here? Wait, is there any way to look at my photos? The only way to look at the pictures we've taken. Camera. Yeah. Uh, These are the pictures we've taken in our playthrough chat. Very first picture. Cat. 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 <laughs> I remember. Hot dog. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> it always comes back to the bunny girls, man. <laughs> I remember this little kid. He's funny. He's tiny. Oh, we've got girlfriends, I forgot. We've got fucking girlfriends, chat. We can go on a date if we wanted. This guy looks like he knows where to find a gambler. Shit, look at the ass on her. Uh, dude, I know! He's certainly not here to play cards. How does he, how do you even know about this place? Maybe I should see if he knows anything. Hey, uh, sorry to interrupt. Hmm? What do you want? Know anywhere around here a guy can play some Chohan? Come on, Orca, you understand now, right? Yeah, I think there's a joint in the Champion District. Heard their exclusive is all fuck. You actually know a place? Could you maybe tell me the name? Hmm. Find up. Yo, I'll sure, take it. But. But what? Check her out. Oh. That chick's got the goods, Dude, I'm right? actually... Aw, oh, he's uh, not even looking sure. at a bunny girl. I guess she's got... goods? What's your point? I want to have a drink with her. Can you make introductions for me? I have to be your wingman? 
Good looking guy like me. you's got a better chance of sealing the deal, right? I mean, look at me. Oh, I can't believe this. You better tell me if I do this for you. Of course, man. <laughs> He's lying. I mean, Champions District's not that big. <clears throat> My lady. Mind if I join you? Please take a seat. You come here often? You bet. There's three things I love in life. Stiff drinks, risky bets, and <laughs> handsome men. Oh yeah? Woof, woof. Just once. I'm down. You're down bad, Orca. Me like they do in the movies. Huh? This isn't really my thing, but I guess that's how the game is played. Okay. Can I buy you a drink? Make it a martini. A gambling woman's drink. Let me guess. Vodka martini. Shake it, not stir it. <laughs> right you are. You're a bigger movie buff than I expected. Mind if I buy you one? My friend will probably want to join us too. Oh, you only want to drink? Uh huh? I just told you I'm in the gambling mood. Okay. So, what do you say? We spice things up a bit. All right, what's the bet? Here's the deal. I'll drink with you if you beat me at poker. Easy. Okay, it's a deal. <coughs> Easy. Yo. Well, wait. You don't. Uh, wh oh, whoops. Yo, money man. Uh, buy chips. Give me- oh, I'm broke. Give me a hundred chips, please. Chat, since when am I broke? What did I buy? What did I buy? I'm broke as fuck. Yo, hey Lex. Well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the Poker Table, ladies and gentlemen. I wish you all the best of luck. Mm -hmm. Voluptuous woman. Folding. He's trying to rinse me of all my money. Yo, this is a high table. I've only got 100 chips. They got like 5k, 8k. Would I have won this with an ace pair? Ugh. No, no, that guy had a free of a kind. <coughs> That's life. You win some, you lose some. Well, what a good sport. She didn't even win! You know the game pretty well. Bet you never lose too big, huh? <laughs> There's something of an art to it, isn't there? What a team you and I would make. All right. I'll join you for this drink. Really? Great. Let me grab my friend. Hey, pal. Hey, why are you the one having all the fun? She agreed to drink with us after a game. Now go grab some seats. Wait, seriously? Ha, I owe you for this, man. You're damn that right guy's down you. bad. I need to know where I can play Chohan, remember? Oh, hey, Jax. yeah. It's in the Champion District. Only shop without a sign. You can't miss it. Bar with no sign. Knock on the shutter three times, and they'll ask you what you want. You respond with the password, can I talk to Moon? Knock three times, then the password. Leonis. They'll say he says yep. he wants the stage. Already on it. You respond, Chateaubriand, blue, and that's it. Joints underground, but clearly. That I would never order a steak blue, chat. Thanks. That's a huge help. Is there anyone here ordering Let's steak blue? Drinking. Actually, I think I'm a bad <coughs> ass. I need to go. Your lost pal, an ass like that is a once-in-a-lifetime deal. Oh yeah, she likes vodka martinis. 
Order it shaken, not stirred. The hell's that supposed to mean? Ah. Medium rare? Yeah. I like the medium. Yo. Kaito-san. Sugiura told me you'd be here. So, I'll stay clue. Find out where Raw. is. Yep. A gambling hall in the Champion District. Really? Where at? Apparently the only store without a sign. They've got the club set up underground. Huh. Fancy. By the way, Talk. What happens when you find Hamura? The first thing I'm gonna do is... Okay, before we do, now Crash, I, I would totally understand that if you haven't tried steak in all of its different kind of cooked varieties, but there is a big difference between like a well done and a medium and a rare steak. The taste is very different in each of them, and it's only something you can know which you prefer when you've tried each one. So, I was in the same boat, but I like to go for a medium. Bent. <coughs> After everything he's done, he deserves it. If I'm honest, I'd take more joy in seeing him squirm than finding the mole right about now. <laughs> Glad we're on the same page. Let's go. Okay, so. Let's roll, talk. Breaking the world. <coughs> Chat, if you're extra good, when we complete this mission, I'll let you guys go on a date, okay? You look up the definition of Chad, you see Kaito. <laughs> Out of the way. Hey! Oh, I threw him into the lamppost! Kaito, that was mine. Hands See you, Lally. See you in a bit. Oh my god, a date flushed. Yeah, we have two girlfriends. We could get free. There's another gale down here. She stands right here, but she's not available yet. She's a fortune teller. She wears a long black dress with, with like white hair. Just found a condom. Okay, we're looking for a bar with no sign chat. Which... Head ahead. Oh. Ooh. <clears throat> I mean, that's Mama's. You go say hi to Mama? Wait. This isn't Mama's. Welcome, sir. Dude, I can't afford any of this. I'm broke as hell. Sorry, dude. All these good friends know they're other girlfriends. Well, we're not exclusive with any of them yet. Let me see. I can't check my messages because we're in the middle of a mission. Hmm. Breaking the world. Oh, there's Mama. She's an Earth Angel. Okay. So this is, my guess is it's gonna be here. On this street. Hard to tell which doors I can go in. Just run all the way around. Maybe we'll get a prompt. Hey Kaito. Here we are. Yo, hold up. Hmm? I don't see a sign anywhere. This is where we get in the gambling hall? Where'd you go? Lock on the door first. How many times should I do it? Leonis! Leonis! Three times. What do you want? Alright, now for the password. I think it started with... <coughs> Moon sure is bright tonight. I'm looking for a guy named Moon. You ever been mooned? Can I talk to Moon? Can I talk to Moon? 
says he wants steak. Pick one for him. On to step two. The second password is... It was blue. Chateaubriand. Blue. Chateaubriand. Blue. I got an achievement for that. Thank you for your order. Enjoy your meal. Nice going, Doc. For a steak now. Blue, what the fuck is blue? Rare, like like not even cooked. That's what a blue steak is. Like it's in a pan for like five seconds. Yo! Skog bang! What was the game called? Chohan? Exactly an easy man to find. Shit. Ozaki. Oh. Okay, huh? Ready, talk? Of course. Captain Hamura, we finally found you. I can't see. Oh shit, I activated instant kill. Alright, I guess we're instant killing. Ha! Which one's my heal? I have a heal one. It's this one. You've got to go. This this guy's beating my fucking ass. Get him off me, Kaito. Kaito, help me. Okay, now we can focus this guy. Oh, don't I have a taunt? I do, I have a taunt. I can't remember. Shit. Just 
get up. Stop! <laughs> I was about to die. Done yet? Or do you want me to keep hitting you? Oh, fuck you. You hired the thief that stole the money from the office that day. It was all just a setup, wasn't it, Hamura? What, memories of looting you? But it's all water under the bridge, isn't it? Now that I can do this. What about the mole? Everything he does is under your command, huh? How many people has the mole murdered? All those Kyore guys? Shintani? No way those are the only ones. Shintani, before he got murdered, was so sure the Mole wasn't part of some Yakuza war. He wouldn't have said that without information to support it. And so, you had to silence him. Made the Mole use Ayabe's gun to hide the trail. Like hell I did. Shintani knew your secret. He knew the Mole murders were linked to the ADDC. All this comes right back to 89, doesn't it? Shove it up your ass! Now hands off, or I'm gonna fucking kill you! You seriously never listen, huh? Hamura. The center's director, Kido. Is he the one who's behind all this carnage? Is it Kido? Is that not right? <laughs> Start talking quick, asshole. Not feeling it, huh? Then how about I kill you right here? Kaito san! <laughs> Kido's not our guy. <laughs> And the phone call, when Shintani tried to reach the center. He wasn't trying to talk to Director Kido at all. It does seem we received a phone call from this Shintani-san you speak of. Do you know who he was calling? Dr. Shona. Hashiki, too. He was trying to get information out of Shono until someone got to him. So the one I want, it's Shono, huh? Right, Hamura? Hey! Fire! Fire! Guess someone's got it out for us, huh, Talk? Captain! Fucking charges me with hairspray and a lighter. Hamura's gone. Well, looks like his shithead boys took him out of here. <clears throat> Holy hell. 
us glad we're still alive. Hey Merlin. A oh, new chapter. The mole was Hamura's personal underworld assassin. With a mounting threat behind them, Yagami and Kaito are forced to cut ties with Matsugane. And the two set foot down a path of no return. Finally, the name of a mastermind bubbles to the surface. The man is an AD9 researcher. On the left. Shono. That's who we're looking for. Chapter 9. The Miracle Drug. Smoke continues to billow out of the Champion District fire as we speak. The apparent cause is a small explosion which took place in a covert gambling hall not long ago. Eyewitnesses claim they heard the sound of explosives being detonated in the establishment. However, the building was deserted by the time firefighters and police arrived on the scene. With the horror of gang violence still fresh in our minds, the incident only raises tension across the city. Hmm. Sounds like the plan didn't go so well. They were desperate. Still, we did manage to talk to Hamra. Which is how you found out Shona was the one giving him orders, right? Not Director Kido. Yeah, at least that's a look he was giving us. You can tell that just from a look. Give me a break. I don't know how else to put it. Well, I guess that look is all we have to go off. Hey, did you come to taunt me or help me? <laughs> don't be mean, Yagami-san. Of course I came to help. Help how? I found someone who's an expert on AD9. Looking into that research paper might be our best shot at finding more leads. And I don't know about you, but I can't understand a word of what it says. Yeah, same. But I found somebody who can. <laughs> I'm impressed. Good, Good work, Hoshino-kun. Just don't get mad, okay? Huh? I'm mad? Why would I get mad? Well, the expert I found... It's Tori-san, the journalist you kind of hate. What? Please, he's written a lot of articles on 89 and has interviewed all the top medical researchers. That guy? Seriously? This has got to be some kind of joke. He said he'd tell us what we want to know, if you asked him nicely. Yeah, you know what? Let's drop it. He's an asshole. Paper. I'll explain after cutscene. <laughs> Yagami-san. What? That research could contain vital information for this case we're building. This isn't an opportunity we can afford to miss. But if we ask him for help now, he's going to want something in return later. Hattori-san's waiting for you at Kyushu number one star. Apparently, he's doing a story on them. Come on, Yagami-san. Get going. So we used to be a lawyer, Orca. Um, <clears throat> and one of the cases that we covered... Uh, was on a man who we believed to be innocent. Uh, he was guilty of murder. We proved him innocent in court. And then the same day he got released, after being proven innocent, he was arrested for murder again of his girlfriend. And that guy wrote a news article basically talking mad shit about us. We don't like him. But... We believe, we still believe the guy is innocent. Yagami doesn't. Yagami doesn't want to touch the case. But with everything that's going on, it's linked back to that OG murder. And I believe the guy was still innocent. So chat, I think you guys have been pretty fucking good. So, I think you guys deserve to go on a date. Who do you want to go on a date with, chat? Sana Mihama or Nanami Matsuyoka? Right, who are you dating? Woohoo! Oh my god! Nanami? Nanami? Nanami, Nanami?
Should I text none of me? Text her. Uh, 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 what should I say? What have you been up to? Chat, take 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 notes, okay? This is how you talk uh, to potential girlfriends. Just just work as usual, but it's going pretty well, I'd say. What about you? You busy these days? More or less. I'm actually looking for stuff to do. Are you now? Should I ask her out on a date? Ask her out. If you're free, maybe we can hang out again. Sorry, but there's a deadline coming up for this huge project I've been working on. Understood. I'll make it up to you sometime, okay? Nice hearing from you. Aw, oh, man. I know she's busy and all, but dang. Fuck, man. <coughs> Alright. Anna, what are you up to? Go to our side piece, you know? Sanjan, about that invitation. I'm actually free right now. Oh, wait. Next month. Oh, yeah, she. This is, so, Sana Chan's a musician, and she's just got a, a deal with someone. We're gonna go celebrate. Really? Me too! Uh, little, little small face. Alright then, meet you at Theatre Square? Okay, be there in a heartbeat. But yeah, I gave her an outfit as a gift. Should I see if she'll wear it? Ask if she'll wear it. <laughs> kind of creepy, but wear it, wear it. Hey, you know that outfit I gave you? I'd love to see you in it. Oh, really? I'll wear it then. Cool, can't wait to see you. Can't remember what outfit we gave her. I know we gave the police officer outfit to Nanami. We have an unread text from you? No! No! Hello, Nanami-san. It's me, Yagami. Lol, are you okay? Only if you are. Only if you are. I know what a busy lady you can be. Don't I know it? Work hasn't really changed much, but at least I can take a few days off here and there. Looks like Nanami-san might have some time to spare. Should I ask her out on a date? Maybe some other time. But not today. When's the next time you're free? I'm free right now, lol. Really? Then do you want to go out somewhere? Good idea. Oh yeah. Okay, San, do you remember Yuko? You met her last time. Yeah, your friend. What about her? I know she was getting really excited over you. More than a lady probably should, lol. How about the three of us get together? Ugh, why not just the two of us? Uh, sure. Sounds good to me. Fuck, have I just double booked a double date? I'm sure Yuko will be ecstatic. I'll contact you after. I'll talk to Yuko. Hmm, three friends meeting up together. Hope this isn't her way of rejecting me. Though I guess two ladies out on the town is kind of special in its own way. Ah, oh, new message? I, I, I just put the phone down. None of me. Yuko san Yuko says she's available anytime. When are you free next? Uh, not for a little while. <clears throat> okay, just let me know whenever's good. Pog. Um, Theatre Square is just above us. Chat, we got three girls on the go. We're players. You wish you had this much game? You can! By buying this game! It is fantastic. It is great. It is everything you want. My mate. You don't give up, do you? You done already? What's wrong? Haunt is pressing in both analog sticks. Easy money. Come on. My date's right there. That's my date, the circle. Jeez, just watch me beat these fucking guys up. Donna-chan. Oh, she's not there. Fuck. 
<clears throat> I've just realized I'm not that much in me. In order to have a good time, I should have at least 50,000. And where can I get that kind of money? Ah! Uh. Pawn shop? I need to sell some stuff. The marsh? I listen for Don Quixote. We need to sell some stuff, chat. We broke. How am I supposed to take a lady out on a date with no money? I wanted to have a good time. I think I have a lot of money. I just haven't sold the stuff. Looks like. Uh, let's finish this one quick. Where are you? Fuck off, bro. Hello. Can I come in, please? <sighs> bro, stop playing with me! Hey, queen! I'm here to sell. Alright, what have we got? Okay, so we sell the plates. We keep the heart earrings because we can give those as a gift. Oh, chat. I actually think we're broke, bro. Are we broke, bro? Alright chat, you know what it means if we're broke. We aren't, we aren't just broke chat, we're broke, broke. I don't know what I spent all my money on, I had like 500k. <laughs> oh my god, I think I spent it. Did I spend it on more women chat? Is that what I did? Don't worry, I know a money maker. Chat will probably like it too. Don't worry, everything will be okay. You guys know where we're going. Let me just fight this guy real quick. For Kim. Women are great. They are. Also chat, it's Blue's birthday tomorrow. Talking about great women, it's her birthday tomorrow. I'm dancing. Get up, bud. Get up. I'm dancing. Yeah, this guy's English voice actor is so good, because it's so bad. Oh. Just had to beat him for Kim. What a waste. Hmm, who's it from? Good work, Yagami san! Way to keep teaching! I left a package at your house. Thank you. Fuck. Okay. I don't even need a waypoint for where we're going. Okay, maybe I do, because I'm not going the right way. I know it's above me though. So we need to make good money. I am, um, yeah, I can make it from here. Is that package 100k yen? 
Oh, I know what I spent all my money on. I spent all my money on Kickstarter. <laughs> I spent all my money on this stuff. <laughs> That's where it all went. Sorry, I'm dancing. It's fine. Where will we need to be anyway? Here we are, chat. I know you guys like this. <coughs> yeah, we're gonna take the harder course, please. Put your VR headsets on, chat. line your pockets with so much cash it'll chafe against your lanky human legs 20 spaces to reach your goal oh I only got two <coughs> and it's a fight yeah the music in this game is great spot the golden fell over there an incarnation yo dual wielding but if he and Metro King Koro and Yan will be here on the map, I'll go get him! Fight using a double stick. I've never used these swords before, but they're cool. And strong. Nice. Oh, well done, my boy. Now, somewhere in the city, there should be another King Koro Nyan. Check on your map by pressing LB. There. Two. Three. We're going for all three King Koros. One. Two. And we get a safe. Alright. Chat, I'm gonna need you to be quiet. I haven't picked a safe for a while. Here goes nice. Almost there. I haven't got enough time. Why am I bad? Just get me out. I haven't got enough time. Oh, I suck at this. Let's see. Oh, I'm actually mad about that. I don't care though. Music's good. Couldn't do it. Nice going, Butterfingers. Fuck off. Crossroads. Uh, we want to go right. Hey, we got a gift. Come on, a roll. 
Got an item. What we got? Second gift. Wonder what you'll get. Kawami Seafood Rice Bowl. 10k! That's good! Such a nobly and kingly presence in the air. I reckon King Koroniang. He's right next to me. I'm sorry, King Koroniang. But I gotta keep going. Another safe? Okay. Chat, we're making big money. Now. We got it! Finer Dan, hey, what's happening to me? I feel alive again. These powers coursing through these old bones on mine. This can only mean one thing. Activating Corinian mode. It's Corinian mode. You can say I'm a catalyst for all this meowful energy. In other words, it's bonus time. Every space turn into bonus challenge. That's a lot of opportunities to gain some good stuff. It starts once you've moved three times. So do your best. All right, let's make it rain, Sonny. Uh, bow down to the King of Coronians. King Coronians, blah, 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 blah. I pretty much got the gist from what he just said. Let's go. Event, bonus challenge. Fight. Uh, battle is a destruction battle. The battle is exclusive to Coronians mode. The mission knockout battle. Destruction, golden enemies, purple enemies. Unleash as many attacks as possible to gain a bonus. Okay, we got 48. How much is 48 transferred to? Anyone spaces to reach the goal. Come on. One, two, three. Focus, my wayward pupil of the sun. And knockout battles begin. Unleash as many attacks as possible to get a bonus. Gotcha. One more. We got one more than we did in the last. Come on. Come on. I'll show us something sunny. Here's your bonus. 300,000! Nice, we got a six. Chat, I don't think we're gonna make it though. I don't think we're gonna make it to the end.
I got all of them. I mean, chat, I've only got one dice left. <laughs> I need to land on a dice spot. 400k. Two dice left and 16 spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. No. I don't think we can make it. We need to land here. But we can't do that in one turn. Oh, we don't make it. Give me a dice, maybe? Almost there. Shit. Why am I bad? Nice. Almost there. Nice. Almost there. Oh, we're done. Do we lose everything? Over already. Oh wait, do I get everything still? Oh my god, I do. Four hundred fifty-nine thousand. Next time for sure. Oh, I don't even care about not reaching the end. Hopefully, Sana San's still waiting. Chat, like I said, you've been really good today. You've all been good boys and gals. It's date time. Uh. And she's wearing the outfit. Oh, it's the outfit. Oh, who wears the outfit? I can't remember who wears this outfit. I'm going to keep you waiting, Yagami-san. Yomo, do you want to get in VC and be Sana-chan? They, they, they. I can't remember whose outfit she's wearing. I recognize it. Oh, is it Kiryu's orphan daughter? Nice, Sanishan. That jacket looks great on you. Hee <laughs> hee. You think so? Yeah. I don't have any outfits like this, so I wasn't sure how it would go, but the guy looks good. <laughs> no problem. More importantly, congrats Thank on your big so debut. Much. Thank you so much. Hey. No, Megalol! <laughs> um, Yagami-san, I have something for you. Admits the Dream LP. What's this? Okay. A record? Yeah. This is made by the president of my agency to commemorate my first album. Wow, that's pretty elaborate, but I'll be sure to listen to this next time I'm back <laughs> at the office. <laughs> Hope you like it. What should I give her? I, I, there, there's a reason I didn't sell the earrings, chat, for money because I bought them for her. But I actually have something for you. Seriously? Really? Yeah, check this out. Oh, she loves me. Oh, really? Thank you so much. Seems to be pretty happy with it. Now, where should we go today? Arcade? Oh, chat, I'd fucking destroy her at darts. But chat, you decide, where are we going? <clears throat> You know if we go to the arcade, we're doing the claw machine. That's what the arcade means. Bat, 
I'm shit at batting, man. We got one for bat. Uh, the batting center is like they launch baseballs at you and you hit them. Arcade. Arcade. Bat. So it's two for bat, two for arcade. <sighs> you say batting. I can't hit the ball. I'm bad at batting. Whoever votes next, you get the decider. Lally voted arcade. Okay. How about the arcade? Works for me. Let's get a plushie. Dude, get the fuck out of the way. Can't you see we're busy? Greetings, songstress of Kamurocho! Oh, um, hi there, Kapita-san. <laughs> so I heard you're finally signing with a label? I see you've done well for yourself. Thank you so much! Thank you so much. <laughs> of course! Still looking beautiful as ever, I see! <laughs> you know, I even bought a new phone just to take your picture. Even oil in your pores show up on this thing. Oh. Uh... Um, you? By the way, who's this you're hanging out with? Ah, uh, would be just a friend. Hmm. <laughs> nice jacket you got there. Where'd you get it? Janky jackets for jackasses.com. Wow. <laughs> Speaking of websites, I made you a Sanachan fanshine. You should check it out. I'm pretty much your biggest admirer, so... <laughs> can I have your contact information so I could send you the URL? Uh... Thanks, but I'd rather not give that out. Don't worry. I promise not to share it with anyone weird. And I'll make sure not to bother you late at night. <laughs> much. Yeah. I don't mean to interrupt, but we're on our way somewhere. But thank you for voicing your support. Yo, that head turn. <clears throat> Let's go, Sana Chen. That guy just now. Is he one of your fans? Yabata san? Yeah. He's been one of my biggest supporters since I was just a country girl experimenting with music. I mean, sure, his fan letters are a bit passionate at times and. Yeah, he does seem odd, but he's not a bad person. You say so. Hope I didn't give him the wrong impression. Oh, uh... What do you mean? Well, what if he... I don't know. What we were dating. Hello? Oh yeah, we're not dating. Wouldn't that hurt your image as an up-and-coming singer? Oh. I could see how that makes sense. Grabbing something to eat in public doesn't seem like such a hot idea anymore. What if you run into more of his kind? Evan! Thank you so much for the seven months, man. So much love, dude. Thank you for sticking around. Pog, pog, pog. What? Ah, uh, and you're, then our day's totally ruined. I was looking forward to it, too. Yeah, I know. You wanna just call it a day? Wanna chat in my office? Wanna come back to my place? Chat, which one? Chat, clearly, you're the alphas here. I, I need the help from you guys. Yeah, Valmari, they were, they were Valentine's Day alerts made by Queen Blue. I decided to keep them on. Leave them on till the end of the month. Office for sure. Alright, we'll do office. In that case, how about we head to my place? You mean... Yeah. You won't have to worry about anyone seeing us there. Wait, you saying you want to... Does this mean what I think it does? Huh? 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 Uh-oh. What I meant was, why don't we head over to my office? I also happen to live there, so... Oh my god, chat. This figure is stopping by my workplace. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, then. Fuck, man! Yeah, so that wasn't awkward at all. So this is your home office. 
actually pretty stylish. I like it. Thanks. I try and spiff up my clients every now and then. Really? It's supposed to be a bed somewhere. I thought since you live here and all. Uh, I just sleep on the sofa. Saves space. Saves money. Saves time. Really? Yeah. You're so silly. Not to mention a bit wild. <laughs> Speaking of being wild, I forgot to forage for food. Literally, there's nothing in the fridge, so some host I am. No! No! Hey. Actually, I was thinking that maybe I could cook for you. <gasps> huh? Would you? Sure. I can make you pretty much anything as long as I have the ingredients. Yeah? Well, then I'll be right back. Want me to go with you? I can't help but feel a bit bad about this. I don't. Wife. <laughs> you look worried, Yagami-san. Don't worry. I enjoy this. All right. <laughs> yeah. She make curry. Ta da All done. Whoa! It's my special curry made with an extra dash of dashi to give it that unique Japanese flavor. I hope you like it. You have no idea how much I appreciate this. She's got Riz chat. Hmm. Bought so much random stuff. Oh, what all did what all did she use to make this? I can tell she added mirin to the base. And this vegetable here is this daikon radish? And is the chicken? It's soft. It's moist. It's full of natural curry spice flavor. And normally I think that curry and dashi would clash, but Sanachan managed to give them an even balance. Oh, Lena, know how I feel about this dish. Give her the bad news. Say what comes naturally. Sing her praises. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm? Is it good? It's not just good. It's delicious. Huh? Really? Oh yeah. It's mouth-watering, mind-blowing, life-changing even! You... you like it that much? No, I love it that much! Even the inventor of curry could probably learn a thing or two from you. Yay! I'm so glad you're enjoying it, Yagami-san! <laughs> Yo, <laughs> why is she sitting there like that, man? So, let's talk. Talk to me, Yagami-san. Talking to a girl at my office about something other than work is kind of nice. Now that's something we could... What's something we could talk about? Are you dating anyone right now? Have you written anything new lately? What made you want to get into music? Have you written anything lately? Oh, is this the outfit? Yeah, I think this is... Uh, Hanamo, I think her name is? Uh, uh Kiryu's... Uh, ad adopted daughter. I think it's hers. I can't recall. I, I, I'm not 100% sure whose outfit it was. <clears throat> but have you written anything new lately? Okay. Yeah, I've been working on some lyrics for a song that's been in my head. Oh, what kind of song is it? Haruka, yeah, Haruka. Mm. You really want to know? Of course. I'm your number one fan after all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little embarrassed to say, but it's a love song. Oh? What kind of love song? It's about coming to terms with your feelings? Like, when your heart tells you one thing, but your mind says another. <laughs> That's what I've got so far. So it's about someone with a wavering heart. Okay. Something like that. Are you basing it off actual experience? Okay. Yeah? When I realized when writing this song, is that I am head over heels in love. <gasps> huh? You are? With who? <laughs> That's for me to know and for you to find out. Ah, uh, the suspense is killing me! You dating anyone? I've been wondering something, Sana-chan. Is it really okay for you to be coming huh? over like this? What do you mean? Well, it's just... You know, I wasn't sure if you were dating anyone or not, so... Oh, that's what you meant. In that case, it's totally fine. I'm currently boyfriend-free- <gasps> A BOYFRIEND-FREE GIRLFRIEND! Oh my god! Crash! Boyfriend-free girlfriend! I got worried for nothing. That's a relief. Well, that's a relief. It is? Yeah. <laughs> it was your natural reaction, then I'm relieved too, Yagami-san. Besides, what kind of girlfriend would I be if I went to another man's house and started cooking him curry? 
You make a good point. But how that you brought it up, you're not taking over, are you? Is asking if I have a girlfriend? Still single. Oh, unfortunately. Really? No way! A good-looking guy like you- THANK YOU! I know I shouldn't be happy, but... Besides, I'm not the kind of guy who invites a girl over and has them make curry when I already have a girlfriend. <laughs> I would hope not. What made you want to get into music? Well, I always liked to sing to begin with. And whenever I did sing, people would always compliment my voice, so I ended up doing school competitions and all that. Before I knew it, I found myself wanting to become a professional singer. That's pretty much it. Wow. And look at where you are now. You must have some real talent. Not everyone can do what they want in life. You must have some real talent to have made it this far. You think so? Oh yeah. Take your fans, for example. You have this special something that keeps drawing them in. <laughs> well, I hope they've drawn in by my music. What about you, Yagami-san? Would you consider yourself a fan? You bet I would. Yeah! yeah. And maybe you'll be my number one someday. By the way. By the way, this has been on my mind for a while, Yagami san. Why'd you become a detective? Hmm, now there's a question. Yeah, that is a question. If I had to single out a reason, it's because we don't need to wear suits. Really? Huh? That's all? Totally. Suits are way too stuffy, and besides, they make my shoulders all stiff. Dress casual, work comfortable, that's how I roll. <laughs> You're just messing with me, aren't you? Actually, I was being serious. Really? But you look so good in a suit. Then how about I wear one for you next time? Seriously? You will? Then I'll hold you to it. Get a picture, Sonichen. Okay. Yo, where is she? So this is the biggest smile um, Yagami can do. There we go. How's this? Looks good. Yep, yeah. looks fine to me. Oh, you're actually pretty good. Can you send this to me later? Of course. I have a Samsung. That's all we have time for today. Well, it's been a pretty relaxing day, but maybe we should call huh? it for now. Oh, already? Can we just stay together? Yo, Sana-chan, I don't know if you know, but I only- I sleep on a sofa. There's only room for one on this sofa. <laughs> you may stay the night. And do you want to stay the night? Huh? Hey. Am I supposed to sleep on the sofa? That's what I'm saying! Ah, point taken. Uh. Well, I should probably be getting home as it is. Bummer. Fucking baited. I used my logic. I used my logic. I should have followed my logic. It's not even- It's bright out! By the way, Sana chan I just wanted to say how impressed I am with you. I bet you're a superstar in no time. You really think so? Everything's happening so fast, like I'm living in a dream. Then, that may be, but it's a dream you've been striving for, isn't it? Besides, realization always comes after the fact. After the fact? Yeah. Once you realize how talented you are, then there's a reason you made it this far. It'll all fall into place. Really? Yeah. Sure hope so. Whoa! It's Santa Mahama! The one that's got all the indie music on my tube! Huh? Hmm? Oh, so it really is her! Wow! She's even prettier in person! Do you guys like my last song? We sure did! It was so good, we practically lost our minds when we heard it. Quick, take a selfie with the both of us. This will blow up on Chatter for sure. Um, uh, hey, wait a second. Uh, hey, hey, what do you punks think you're doing? Eep! Sana Chan's enjoying her private time right now, so quit bugging her, you hear me? 
I will stand by this man in Sanachan's defense. The soul of the songstress of Kamurocha requires peace and solitude. Yikes! No, thanks, guys. Namaru-san, an Oda-san. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> Fuck, they're sick! Wait, isn't this dude... Don't tell me. Are you guys on a date? Wow, Sanachan. It really is more to you than meets the eye. Oh, no, it's not like that. It's totally like that! You were so over me! You are so all over me, dude! And he asked him to help me out with something. Yeah, what she said. We are about to call it a day anyway. You know, Sana san you were considered a star now. Some fans might get the wrong idea seeing you with a guy. Like, what's his name, for instance? The guy who's one disappointment away from having an erotic episode? You'll be referring to Kapata, correct? Sana san's uncouth stalker. Hmm? Hold up! You mean that guy is stalking you? No. No, he's not a stalker, he's a passionate fan, that's all. You. You haven't seen his chatter, have you? The stuff he posts about you sounds way more pissed than passionate. Oh. Uh... Well. Seriously, he's raving like a lunatic about how you were breaking the idol code. I think you'd best be careful. Ooh. Only they get to you, Sana Chan. If anything happens, you can always rely on me. Okay. Thanks for taking me out today, Yagami-san. I had a really great time. Level up! Intimacy level 3! Me too. I do enjoyed yourself. It's always like, where did the time go? I'll hope to see you soon. Bye. Chat, you did great on your date. Good job, chat. Just wanted to thank you again for today. Hope you enjoyed my curry. Make me some more next time. We should go out and eat next time. Huh? Are you saying my curry wasn't any good? That's not what I'm trying to say. Is that so? Relax. I'm trying to, like, treat, treat ya. Yeah, do we do another date? It emote game is strong. That is really true. We could do another date. We could try and get another girlfriend. Right here. I think this is girlfriend material right here. You just ruined it, Sammy. God, shut the fuck up, Lally. The bed first thing. We're sex free chat. Know the rules. We stay sex free. So this should be the fortune teller lady. It is! She's injured! Mane? What's wrong? Are you okay? I'm not the one who requires your aid. You must go after the Great Calamity. Uh. Whoa, whoa. You sure you're okay? Hey. Can you try to walk me through what happened? I witnessed a Great Calamity on a passerby. When I warned him, he lashed out on me. He told me I was annoyingly persistent. Hmm? Persistent? Why would he say that? Because I foresaw his future about a month ago as well. A calamity of fire. And when I saw him again earlier, I couldn't help but notice how alarmingly large his aura of his calamity had become. Huh? A calamity's aura can change size? I've never seen anything like it. Be frank. So I warned him again. And that's when he attacked That's when he attacked you, huh? From his perspective, you probably seem like a scammer or something. Regardless. Calamity of this magnitude, I cannot even imagine the havoc that may wreak. It's fate. It's fate. And as a calamity of fire, it could have been horrifyingly consequences. In other words, she needs me to look into this guy. Should I accept? Let me guess, you want me to tail him and prevent Very the well. calamity? Yes, 
I require your services now more than ever. Will the usual 15,000 yen suffice? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Anything you can tell me to help identify the guy? He was a plump man with short black hair. Who was wearing an embroidered stadium jacket and a large backpack. I know that his name is Hayama-san. After he hit me, he headed towards Showa Street. I'm on it. Alright, I'll go look into it. She's possessed! <laughs> uh, I actually don't know where Show Oh, Showa Street. We'll do main story after this chat. Main reason I'm doing this lady's quest is because I've been made aware that she is a potential gilf. Girlfriend. Not gilf. I'm one handed. When when she spoke, like her voice line played through. I tried to imitate it, but it sounded Irish, so she's Irish now. And stay down. And stay down. It's Yomo! Embroidered jacket, short black hair, overweight. It's Yomo! A calamity of fire this time, mm. huh? I don't really know what to expect here. I'll protect you, Yomo. Don't you worry. Alright, chat. So, since we're going to be tailing this guy for a while, probably... What, 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 what's the conversation? What are we talking about, eh? Hmm? Like, what's going down today, chat? You pogging? What, what are you doing? It's, it's Sunday? Is it Sunday? No, it's Monday. Chat, what are you doing on your Monday? Hmm? You up to much on a Monday, chat? Hmm? Boo! Made bacon, eggs, and sausages. Pog. That's Pog. Your plushes came? What plush? What plushes did you buy? Monday was so shit, everything went wrong. Pog. Yo! Yo, Yoma, what are you doing? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what the fuck? Yo! Nothing to see here. <laughs> I'm not suspicious. I'm not following you. Fuck off. Fuck, I keep getting... <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> oh my god, stop. A bit of plush from Valorant and Vivi Cacta. Plush from Final Fantasy. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Mm -hmm. We play some Lego Hobbit. Pog Champ. Have you been watching some movies in my Discord lately, chat? We've been popping off. You're writing? Ooh. <coughs> What's the subject? That was a close one. Hmm? How was Jonathan Wick? We watched John Wick 1, then we watched Nobody, and then we watched Zombieland, and then the day after we watched Hobbit 1. It was good, man. Enjoyed all of them. You looking for something? What's this guy doing? 
Zombieland, good movie. Yeah, dude, it was way better than I remember it being. I remember really enjoying Zombieland when I watched it the first time. But again, it was so long ago, I can barely remember. Would recommend Zombieland for sure, yeah. It's good fun. Huh? Hmm? Whoa, seriously? I have to put this fire out. Whew, that was close. Was that the Calamity of Fire? Oh, I forgot. Where did he go? I have to catch up. I was gonna say, there's no way he did this jump. Left or right, chat? Right. I am not following you. Yo, he just pushed that lady. Yo, did he push you? The Peach Club. Private room. 48. All you can... All you can... All you can drink, girls bar. Wonder if Zombieland 2 holds up? We'll get around to it. We'll watch it this weekend. Which way is Yomo gonna go? It's giant traffic cones again. Are these just a thing in Japan? Bro, can you not look at me? Stop. Stop. Keep on walking, Yomo. Walk away. That's it. Walk away, Yomo. Niku place. Please don't get roasted. Alright. Let's leave the place. Stop turning around. I'm gonna get mad. Bro, these tailing missions. Where's he going? Finally. Hey, yo! Little Asia. It's under construction. What business would he have going on there? <laughs> Your area burns so well. Hmm? 
Yomo, do you, do you want to voice this, Yomo? That gasoline I smell? I don't know if he's in chat still. <laughs> it really is that emoji. Hey, what are you doing? What do you want? I'm just trying to start something here, so stay out of my way, would you? Arsene, eh? you're not the victim of the fire calamity. You're the catalyst. Did that fortune teller send you here? She freaked me out. I thought she was on to me. Yeah? And it's thanks to her that I can prevent you from doing this. You aren't preventing shit. I'll be the next one to turn camera out show and just see a flames. <laughs> Little Aisha will be the bacon of sails a coming storm. Nah. Dude, you're nuts. So how about you shut up and let me kick your ass? Who knows? Maybe I'll knock some sense into you. Ew, fine. Then your body can be the kindling. I've always wanted to watch someone go up in flames. This again. Threatening man. Chat, is that how you would describe Yomo? As a threatening man. <laughs> Number fifteen. She was right on the way yet again. I started to wonder if maybe I shouldn't be doubting her. Thank you for calling us. That guy's a wanted honest and earn in the nest. He, we can't let little Adrian go up in flames ever again. It would be a huge disaster. Yeah, I'm just glad it didn't come to that. That said, I'm surprised you found him here. This area is pretty shut off. Um, he seemed pretty suspicious, so I followed him here. Yagami-san. Yagami-san, thank you. You managed to prevent a major disaster in this city. I guess. Didn't expect the guy to be a perpetrator, though. He was babbling about turning Kamurocho into a sea of flames. If my power was able to save lives today, then maybe there's a little more I can ask for. Mr. Shelby. Yagami-san, how would you feel about forming a partnership? Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Partnership? Predict the calamities, you minimize the damage. I think we've proven we're, we're an effective team. <laughs> <laughs> Tempting, but I think with the current arrangement, it's working out just fine. Besides, you know how stressed I'd be hanging out with a prophet all the time? Very well. I can't say I'm not disappointed. Very well. I can't say I'm not disappointed, but I do understand. Here, your payment. Perhaps something longer term may be in the future yet. Mr. Shelby. Thanks again. Mr. Shelby! Shame she's not on Gilf yet. Oh, it's the lockpick guy. I don't care. Okay, main story time. Breaking the world. Is this the ramen place? It is the ramen place. Hello, sir. Mm. Tori san. Tori san. Oh, I didn't notice you there, Yagami san. Don't tell me you're using a phone camera to take pictures for your article. Resolution on these things is plenty high nowadays. You have a problem? Not really, no. Just didn't know sensationalist food columns were a thing. I only report on things that interest me. That's my professional philosophy. Well, is it gonna take a while? I'm here to talk. Don't worry. I'll be done soon. You hey, Val. No, I want to talk to the chef. All right, I'm done. Thanks for stopping by, Yakami-san.
Kind of strange sharing a bowl of ramen with you. I thought the day would never come. Can you not? Oh, hey. Relax, Yagami-san. Are you still working for Kajihira? I'm not sure I'd go that far. He just calls me in for favors every now and again. Helps to be on good terms with the guy. For my job, you know? Uh-huh. It'd be nice to be close with you, too, Yagami-san. I heard you were the one who discovered Shintani-sensei's corpse, after all. I'm here to talk 89. If that's not what this is about, I'm not sticking around. Yo, eat the ramen. All right, all right. But you'll owe me for this. <sighs> this is why I didn't want to talk to him. Generally, drug development starts with the discovery of a compound that can treat a given disease. That compound becomes the candidate for a drug. They then test its effects on animals, after which the drug heads to clinical trials. Which is a nicer way of saying human experimentation, by the way. As for the process, it can take years, sometimes even longer, to ensure a drug is truly safe for public consumption. Yeah, yeah, it's tough, I get it. Before now, Alzheimer's drugs have only been able to slow the progress of the disease. None can cure it completely. But Director Keto's 89 proved remarkably effective at doing just that when tested on mice. If it can work on humans as well, maybe we can finally kiss Alzheimer's goodbye. At least, that's what the paper they published a year ago claimed. Interesting. Yagami-san. Hmm? In this country, one in four people over the age of 80 is affected by dementia. That means for a couple in their 50s, there's a good chance that one of their parents has it. And the odds that one member of that couple will develop it themselves is 50-50. No matter how you look at it, dementia is an inescapable issue. If I ever experienced symptoms myself, I'd go to the doctor straight away. In some cases, they can slow the progress enough that you can even keep working. I guess my point is, dementia is not something to fear. It's a possibility to prepare for. Our biggest enemy is ignorance and apathy. Kinda reminds me of someone. Yeah, if you say so. Good. I'd like to give you a rundown of what exactly Alzheimer's is then. You interested? Why give me the option? Well, you're gonna, even if I say no, right? <laughs> you bet I would. Now let's begin. Out of all the diseases that can cause dementia, Alzheimer's accounts for roughly 70% of cases. It's believed to be brought about by buildup of a protein called amyloid beta in the brain. When that happens, nerve cells start dying off and the brain begins to atrophy. So to put this in layman's terms, waste buildup kind of shrinks the brain. Take notes, chat. That's one way to put it. You're learning. Yes. But even that is just a theory at this point. There's still much to learn about Alzheimer's. And when your brain shrinks? Your memory is impaired. Let me explain. There are three processes involved in memory. Encoding, storage, and retrieval. Alzheimer's impairs the first step, encoding. This makes it near impossible to remember new things. I'll give you an example that stuck with me. When doctors asked a dementia patient the date, they had no problem producing the correct answer. But when asked the year, the patient said 1952. Mm. Their mind was stuck decades in the past. You see, dementia not only inhibits new memories, but jumbles the ones you already have as well. Mm. I think I understand. Good. So how exactly does 89 cure Alzheimer's? According to their research, when they injected 89 into the test mice, it brought Chill with the music! ...known as autophagy. Which is what? 
It's a Greek word that means self-devouring. That's what your body starts to do to its own proteins. In other words, all the amyloid beta built up in the mice's brains began to instantly break down. Instantly? Yes. And once it was all gone, their Alzheimer's stopped progressing entirely. The most shocking thing is that even brain cells which had lost function were able to recover. As one researcher put it, it's as though the brain turns on a backup generator. <laughs> if they can bring about similar effects in humans, they'll have a cure for Alzheimer's. That's right. There are millions of patients worldwide, and that number is growing steadily every day. If they actually complete this drug, it could truly change the world as we know it. It's nothing short of a dream drug for both buyers and sellers. I see, if that's true, it really would be a dream drug, but... <laughs> if you ask me, it sounds too good to be true. <clears throat> Excuse me? I mean, the vice director of the ADDC suspected something fishy was going on with it. But when he started digging around, someone offed him to keep their secret safe. Made it look like a brawl so nobody would get suspicious. What kind of secret are we talking? Like the drug's effects being falsified. No, there's no chance of that. Huh? How do you know? Since the announcement of AD9, countless animal tests have proven successful. By who? It's no fabrication. One test after another, they've proven its viability. And you're sure? Yes. I'm of the mind they should push forward faster, even if the paper wasn't a little rough around the edges. After all, dementia drugs are being developed all around the world. It would be a shame if someone beat them to the punch, both for the ADDC and for Japan. Kido-san is far too cautious. This is no time to be testing on animals. They need to move to clinical trials and get this thing out. By which you mean... Experimenting on humans. Human experimentation. Wait. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Just... Wait. Are you absolutely sure there's nothing off about 89? I guess there is an interesting detail I noticed. Hmm? Kido-san is listed as the sole author of the 89 research. But in truth, he only put his name on the paper to lend it credibility. The key researcher was someone else entirely. A guy you know, too. Man by the name of Shono. So the one I want... It's Shono, huh? So you're saying... Shono's the creator of 89? Seems so. The paper would never have gained such worldwide traction without Kido-san, though. They needed a leading expert to rubber stamp the research and make it seem more official. That kind of thing is pretty common, though. Not really a cause for concern. Hmm. Shono, what's your role in all of this? You see, we've been looking at the angle that all of the murders are all, like, like, y Yakuza-based, right? But what if... Now, this guy... I don't know. See, my thinking is now, they're all men, you know? They're all men. They're all older men. What if all of the men were exhibiting... Like ideas of de like like symbols of dementia, and that's why they were being tested on. Maybe they were being tested on, and then they were killed by the eighty nine research office because they're you know a part of the human experimentation. They're the humans they experimented on, and they're like, okay, we've got the test results from this one. Time time to off them. 
Hmm. The plot thickens. It's starting to become a nice sauce. Kaito! Return home. Mailbox first. <coughs> Thanks, Kim. Kaito, are you here? Yo, hey, the whole gang's back. here. Hey there, Yagami-san. Yo, Jester. Here, huh? Hey, I just said How that. Did things go with Hatori-san? Did you learn anything useful? Yeah, I guess. Before we carry on, just gonna turn voice up by 10. 15. Wait, are you saying there isn't actually anything up with 89? That's what Hattori said, yeah. This is the well, first time I'm hearing about Kido <coughs> being involved, though. It's possible Shono's hiding the truth from even him. Maybe. But first, one term in particular stuck with me from my chat with Hattori-san. Which is? Human experimentation. Go on. Apparently, 89 is just about ready to be tested on real human subjects. <laughs> well, that's gross. Side effects include bloating, blindness, and death, right? Yeah, Not blindness! Bad. Sorry, sorry. What's bothering you about that, Yagami-san? Well, it's just... I've just been thinking. What if all these murders were secretly experimental trials for 89? That's what I'm saying! You're... You're serious? If Shono's the one behind all this... What? You think this guy Shono went out, hired an assassin, and started killing people? Guess it's a bit of a stretch, huh? Even if these people were test cases, why would Shono have to murder them? If this is a dementia drug, not some kind of chemical weapon. No, but what if it really did have some kind of crazy side effects, though? Like, they didn't want to kill the people, but they ended up dying anyways. It was perfectly fine when they tested it on mice, though. If it ended up killing someone, then... Wait a sec. Yeah, wait a sec is right. We're on the same page here. What if 89 was completely harmless to mice, but lethal when introduced into the human body? If that was the case, they'd need to perform a ton of experiments to make sure it was fixed. Which is why they killed all those Kyore guys. Shono needed to silence those Yakuza, he might have restored, resorted to using them all. Back it up. If they're testing a drug, <coughs> would they want to use it on an actual patient? I mean, it's not like those Kyore guys all had Alzheimer's or anything. That's no. true. But if Actually, death is the side effect, they just want to test if it doesn't kill drugs them. On healthy humans as well. They're the control group to make sure the drug is safe. Yeah, eventually. It wouldn't make any damn sense for him to start on anyone but real patients, though. But... Just give it a rest. Try taking this seriously for once. We are taking this seriously! Says the dumbass kid who keeps spouting tinfoil hat shit about goddamn human experiments! <laughs> the only dumbass here is the guy who can't consider all the possible options. Oh, is that right? You tell him, Hashino! You know. Tell me, they experiment on old man Waku, too! Fuck it. Hmm? Huh? What? That incident three years ago at the ADDC. The guy who died, Wakasan. Didn't he have Alzheimer's? Hey, I, I think you're onto something. Huh? Think about it, Kaito-san. Wakasan was an Alzheimer's patient at the center. We know for a fact that Okubo didn't kill him, but they never tracked the real murderer down. What if motivation for that murder was a human experiment for the 89? Alright, cool your fucking jets. That happened three years ago. 89 didn't even exist back then. True, it was only announced last year. But all the research that went into that paper would have reached way further back. Huh? Wait, are we really on to something? No way. It's hard to say for sure, but it's worth looking into at the very least. <coughs> Chat, there's no flipping way 
I have a few more thoughts about this whole human experimentation theory. Mind if we continue? Yeah. Sure. Okay, so... Let's say Shono did experiment on Wakusan. Why would he do that? They normally do a lot more to ensure a drug is safe before it enters clinical trials. What was his motive for testing it then? Let me think. Why would Shono have broken protocol and experimented on Walker? Maybe he wanted to try his groundbreaking new drug on a real-life human as soon as possible. If it worked, he'd have the cure. And he'd have it without dealing with all the red tape these things go through. It would have saved him years. That's possible. I guess Shono was surrounded by dementia patients. One little test wouldn't be a big deal, and if it succeeded, his drug would save the world. If it meant curing Alzheimer's sooner, he might have been okay accepting the risk. But instead of doing what it was meant to do, 89 had a horrible side effect. Death. The more I think about it, the more it feels like this is how it all went down. It's starting to make sense. But now, even though he knows the risks, he's still experimenting and using the mole to do it. I know this is all just a theory, but the pieces all seem to fit Game together. theory. Real cutscene? Going down that path, yagami uh -huh. that means Oko <coughs> really was innocent, yeah? But he murdered his girlfriend right after. I mean, that's why he's on death row. Quit it, Sugiura. We'll get to that later. Oh, I want to get into it yeah. now, though. I want to know about Okubo, man. So, to summarize our theory so far. Okubo is the whole reason we're not a lawyer anymore. He's the guy who murdered his girlfriend, or so we believe. It all started three years ago when Shono accidentally killed a patient during an AD9 test. But those tests are still ongoing. That's why Hamura had all those Kyore guys killed. But wait, how would a guy like Shono get wrapped up with Yakuza and assassins? Your run-of-the-mill researcher wouldn't have the cash or connections for that shit. But what if someone close to him did? Someone Shono knows who's got Yakuza ties? The hell could that be? Hanamura, Hanamura. Hmm. Mm. No, I think it's Kazumi. The Minister no. of Health. Now he's a Kazumi. <laughs> you think an active cabinet member is out hooking Shono up with Yakuza? Seriously? Hmm. I suppose the minister would have enough power. That but I'm wrong. not sure he has the motive. Especially not for such a risky move. Who else do we have then? It, it can't be Kajahira, here, right? You could get Hamura and Shono <coughs> in touch. Huh. Uh, I think we've... Realize it's not Kido. That means it's gonna be you, right? Shigeru Kajihira, chairman of the Kajihira Group. I'm not so sure about that, Yagami-san. Uh, huh? Think about it. The murdered Kyore Yakuza are Kajihira's men. Besides, there's no evidence of any connection between him and Shono. Uh, I guess you have a point there. So it's Kido? Well, we can rule Kajihira out. Who is Shono's go-between then? Ryusuke Kido, director of the ADDC. Oh, I see what you mean. Kido would have access to ADDC funding. There's even been talk of him having ties to the Yakuza somehow, right? I think you've cracked it, Yagami-san. It had to be Kido. Uh, I don't know if that's really true. Why? Think back to the AD9 press conference. You remember the look on Kido's face? He was so proud, innocent even. But if he knew about all this human experiment shit, no way he'd look like that. Kid's got a point. <clears throat> then maybe he was only told about the experiments after the conference took place. That would still make sense, right? Uh, 
First, Shono gets Kido to sign off on the 89 paper and publicly gives him all the credit. Thrilled about the possibilities, Kido proudly presents the research at that press conference. There's no turning back after that, even if he found out about the experiments. That's probably how Shono got Kido on his side. He then used Kido's funding and connections to bring in Hamura and the Mole. It feels like all the pieces are falling into place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That means Kido's not actually the one in charge. Right. Shono is behind everything. Mm. Let's say you're right. When did Shono start using this guy? When was the Mole's first murder? Mm. Waku. Shono murdered a patient, Waku-san, three years ago. <coughs> he and the Mole may have started working together then. But that was probably an accident, right? He didn't mean for Waku-san to die. In other words, he wouldn't need the Mole. All right. Maybe it was a different time then. Well, when was it? I'm bad at this detective stuff. When those Kyore guys started getting their eyes gouged out, that would make the most sense. Well, that's pretty damn recent. Hmm. What about Hashki's death then? Hmm? Shono has an alibi for the night Hashki was beat to death. If he didn't hire somebody to do it, maybe it really was just a random passerby. No, that doesn't fit with the rest of the story. Hashki inching closer to the truth about 89 was a serious problem for Shono. So, Shono hired someone to offer the, the mole. The black raincoat. He's the mole? Uh, that must have been his first job, huh? Yeah. Only the best of the best assassins would have the skill to do what they did to Hashki. Can't argue with that. Who knows how close Hashki was to finding out about the human experimentation before he died. Yeah, and if he had, that would have been the end of the line for Shona. Seems like a plausible motive to me. Mm. So what, everything just makes sense? I don't know. Looks like Sugiura still isn't totally on board. If you have something to say, say it. I mean, this is still just a theory, right? It all sounds almost too convenient. Hmm? What do you mean? If Shono killed Wakusan at the ADDC three years ago, then Okubo, the primary suspect in the case, <coughs> would be totally in the clear. Yep. Already proved that in court, remember? But Okubo, he... He killed his girlfriend right after. He stabbed her over and over. Even set the place on fire. Reeked of booze, too, even though he was supposed to be dry. Defend him all you want. The guy's a murderer. Oh, true, That's Sigura. why the whole thing was such a big deal. Everyone realized the court made a mistake. It took the death of an innocent girl for them to realize that Okubo probably did it after all. Yet here you are, claiming the court got it right. Claiming Okubo's innocent. But you just don't want to feel responsible for Emi Terasawa's death. That's it, isn't it? Enough, Sugiura. You're way out of line, and you don't know shit. Look, I know I get swept up in my emotions pretty easily sometimes. All the same, I'm trying to be fair here. Are you? So if we want to treat Yagami-san's theory like it's the truth, we need to prove Okubo's innocence. We'll have to figure out whether or not Okubo is innocent. If he actually killed Wakasan. And how are you suggesting we do that? It's simple. We just go to Okubo and ask if he did it. You want to talk to him face to face? Meeting with a death row inmate isn't that easy. A lawyer like you should have no problem setting that up, right? Jinpei Okubo is still in jail. I could meet him, but... He can't stand me, though. 
From day one, Okubo insisted he was innocent, that he didn't kill Emmy. But I, I abandoned him. Yeah, all the main characters have really strong voice actors. Side characters, though, like, <laughs> fucking that's hilarious. A pretty weak excuse for not going to talk to him now. If you really want to pursue this case, you don't have a choice, Yagami-san. Well. Push him. <coughs> Just is right, though. Let's go talk to Okubo. Think you can arrange that for me? I can try. Let me get in touch with the prison. Thanks. I'll be at Gendis if you want to find me. Looking over the old case files. All right. So basically, Leonis, what you missed. Shono. Shono is the bad guy. He's the one hiring them all. Um, however, to prove this, Jester doesn't believe that this is the case. He will only believe if this is the case if we can prove Okubo's innocence. Because then that would may make everything make sense that we just discussed. So, we're tackling what happened three years ago. That's the only way all the pieces fit. So right now, we've got a puzzle with one missing piece, basically. And that missing piece is Okubo's innocence. If he's innocent, all the pieces fit, and Sugiura is on our side. If he's not innocent, then our theories bust. <clears throat> but if you really want to know the details of that, Leonis, watch the VOD. There was a lot of, like, basically everything we needed to know was in that cutscene. There was a lot of good info there. Blueberry rice pudding. I've never heard of it. <coughs> I don't even think I've had rice pudding before. Yo, purple guy. Bring it on. Now you got it. Love aloe vera drink. Yo, if I had a dollar for any time someone said, You need to try. What? You haven't had? You need to try. If I had a dollar for every time someone said that to me, I'd be rich. So true, so Sammy. What a waste. I love aloe vera drink. Oh my, I love it. I see Sammy. Just food in general, Rose. Oh, Yagami. <coughs> yeah, what's something? up, Genda? Mind if I look over a case file? The ADDC one from three years ago. I'm seeing Okubo soon. Huh? What do you mean you're seeing Okubo? Hold on. I'll go pull the documents up. Thanks. Thanks, Sari san. I love Sari san, man. She, she is like number one girl in this whole game for me. How's it going, Yagami san? Oh, not bad. She's being really sympathetic towards me right there? now. The files for Emmy Terasawa's case. I thought they might be useful too. Well, I. Yagami san, I think you should look them over if you're going to talk to Okubo. If you really don't need them, just leave them here. I'll put everything back later. Thank you. <coughs> Why do you have to stand up to pick them up? They're on your desk that you're sitting at.
All right, pay attention, chat. This is probably going to be some info that we haven't seen. Emi Terasawa, 26 years old at time of death. R.A.P. December 2nd, 2015, about 11 p.m. Her body is found on the second floor of a burnt-out apartment building. Fifteen stab wounds to the chest, presumably inflicted while she was still alive. Cause of death? Blood loss. No ash in her lungs, so she didn't inhale any smoke. Emmy died before the fire started. Shinpei Okubo, the victim's boyfriend and roommate, was found at the scene and arrested. <coughs> Murder weapon is thought to be a kitchen knife. It was covered in Okubo's prints. Okubo was wasted out of his mind when firefighters arrived at the apartment. Okubo-san is not a violent person. And he hasn't even had a drink in over six years. Not a single drop since the incident. But Okubo claims he doesn't remember ever drinking. That he woke up surrounded by flames. He's pleaded innocence from day one. Yagami. Do you really have to do this? Go see Okubo, I mean. <sighs> yeah, looks like I do. But why? I need to know if he was really innocent. If he killed Wakusan three years ago. I'm going to find the truth, Kenda Sensei. What? In just one little prison chat? Well, either way, I never felt like I closed the book on this. I should have done this years ago. I mean, yeah, I defended him in court. But we didn't have anything definitive to prove his innocence. The only thing the ruling said was that they couldn't conclusively prove his guilt. Meaning for the public at large, he as good as did it. <coughs> Okubo got laid off from his job and had his personal details smeared all over the internet. Yeah. The guy barely even went outside couldn't sleep at night without his pills but I didn't ask him about any of that didn't really care either until one day Okubo gave up his years of sobriety started drinking and stabbed his girlfriend to death and what you think that's your fault why did Shinpei Okubo kill Emi Tarasawa if it's anyone's fault mine Real cutscene. Set a murderer loose on the world. In other words, Emmy died because of me. I'm not gonna let you do this to yourself. <gasps> do you remember your dad's last case? Must have been almost 20 years ago. Do you, Yagami? Yeah. No way I could forget. The defendant in that case raped and murdered a 15-year-old girl. At least that's what they said he did. Everyone in the damn country thought that guy deserved to get executed. No thoughts of innocence, except from your dad. You know how it all went down after that. He gave the prosecution what for. Your dad never compromised his ideals, no matter what. He said a lawyer's job isn't discovering the truth, or even knowing it. It's proving the prosecution doesn't have enough evidence to convict. Do you understand? That's how he saw the defense's role. It takes some real guts to say that. That's why you looked up to him. And you would have never become an attorney without his influence. In the beginning, sure I did. But you know, a lot happened afterward with my dad and with me too. Yo, smack him! Yeah. It's possible the defendant actually was guilty. Raped the girl, killed her in cold blood. He disappeared almost immediately after the trial. And so, all of the hatred all of the anger people felt fell on your father was thrown onto my dad oh oh after he and my mom were killed by the victim's father
Holy freaking crap! I don't think your old man. That's new. Wrong. Our job's showing that the prosecution doesn't have enough evidence, not finding the truth. And when you defended Okubo the first time around, that's exactly what you did. Listen to me, Yagami. You didn't do anything wrong. Sure, I get what you're saying. But a girl burned to death because I was good at my job. Ever think about how that feels? What? It's easy to sit back and tell me I did nothing wrong, but put yourself in my shoes. Could you say you did the right thing? That's enough! How long are you gonna let this dominate your life? For as long as I live. New music chat. Two new songs in one cutscene? Yagami speaking. Hey, it's Hoshino. I've arranged our chat with Okubo. Meet me at the taxi stand on West Shichifuku Street. I'm on my way there now. Got it. Thanks. I appreciate the concern. I've said all I wanted to say. It's fine. I half knew you weren't going to listen anyway. Genda Sensei. Hmm? You and I both saw what happens when you don't pursue the truth. I can't let that go. I won't. What is it, Sana? Do you remember Kabata-san? He's the one Kinamura-san was talking about the other day? Wasn't that the guy who was raising a big stink about us dating? <coughs> dating? Now we were dating? That's the one. So he came by my life performance today. But it seems like he's still suspicious about you and me. We must have looked like a good couple. LOL! Oh my. Anyway, let me know if Kabata-san causes any trouble. I'm sure he'll be just, he'll just be just fine though. Okay, we'll do. I'm sorry. I could go on a date with Nanami right now, chat, but this story is getting juicy right now. We're about to go speak to Okubo. Oh, it's another real cutscene, too. There he is. Okubo. Long time no see. Yagami Sensei. Yeah. It's been a while. I apologize. I've been alone all this time. Talking is... Don't worry. We're not in a rush here. You look so different. Yeah. I haven't been back in the courtroom since the last day of our case. Meaning you're not a lawyer? Not quite. I'm a detective in Camarocho. Pays the pills, you know. And that's all my fault? Hey. <sighs> Sorry. This isn't what I came here to talk about today. <clears throat> Three years ago, at the ADDC. Did you... Did you actually murder Wakusan or not? Yagami, I... I don't understand. You know I'm innocent. I didn't murder Wakusan. Or Emi-chan. Why won't you listen to me? I told you time and time again, I didn't kill anyone! Why won't people just believe me?
prosecution had more than enough evidence to convict you for Emmy's murder. It was an open and shut case. There was nothing we could do. Of course not. How am I gonna win when my own lawyer doesn't believe I'm innocent? Don't think I couldn't tell. Every time you went up there and tried to clear my name, you looked like you were gonna puke. So, um, Okubo-san, you really didn't do it either time? <sighs> That's what I've been saying all along. My name is Hoshino, from the Genda Law Office. If you don't mind, we have a theory about the ADDC incident you were on trial for. I do mind. It doesn't have anything to do with me. But don't you want to know who really killed Waku-san? <laughs> it was an ADDC researcher by the name of Yoji Shono. I remember him. But you're saying... He did it? Why, though? Here, let me explain. <sighs> Listen up, Leonis. Well, son's death was an 89-related accident. That's our theory, at least. The drug must have killed him on the spot. Shono panicked, searching for a place to hide the body. Which led him to my truck, huh? Yeah. It must have been the only option he could think of. Things may have turned out differently had you actually reported finding Wakusan's body. But as we both know, that's not what happened. Maybe the police should have actually suspected Shono instead. So all this was because I buried the body? It was a better stroke of luck than Shono could have ever asked for. After all, the cops never even suspected him. God damn it! Oh shit. I don't know what the hell I was thinking back then. It all happened so fast. I opened the truck, and the body was there. Naturally, I panicked. The police never would have believed I didn't kill the guy. Of course not. Why would they? I already had a criminal record, too. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Leonis. Okubo. Okubo. Oh, his facial expression right there. So you really were innocent after all, huh? Do you even need to ask? I guess not. Thank you. Yagami-san? Yagami-sensei! What about Emmy? Aren't you gonna ask me about her? I told you before, I never would have killed her! I... I want to believe you. I really do. But I already did everything I could. I searched non-stop for some kind of hint. But a guy can only spend so long poring over burnt scraps of evidence. After three years, I'm not holding out much hope. So... Guess the real killer is still out there. Just biding his time, waiting for my execution. How are you and I gonna face Emmy in the afterlife? Come on, man! Tell me how! My juice Yagami cup is full right I now. I think I'm chat. gonna head back to Gendis. What are you up to tonight? Not sure yet. I think maybe I'll swing by Tender. I could use a drink. Yagami-san. I'll be alright. Later, Hoshinokun. Yeah. Hmm. Head to Tender. We're close. I was gonna say, let's get a taxi. But, you know me, chat, we always run everywhere. I can't believe the bar is called Bartender. Yeah, man. Great. I wonder if Ayabi's gonna be here, or if he's in hiding right now. 
So, I hear you're defending Aibe. Hello, Matthew Hello, Mercer. Well, I had to come congratulate you myself on your triumphant return to the Corp. It's high noon. I'm not going to be the one defending him. Just help him with the investigation. Wasn't Shintani Sensei your mentor? You're helping to free the man who murdered him. <laughs> Are you confused or just desperate for a few scraps off the table? But it wouldn't be the first murderer you've set loose in our city. Not a good look. Aibe didn't kill Shintani. His gun begs to differ. The rifling matches the marks on the bullet. Yeah, that's how the real killer framed him for it. If you seriously can't see that, then I'm not the confused one here. Say what you will. Bye, McCree. Sorry, Cassidy. <coughs> Bye, Cassidy. Good man, walk. Who the fuck is this? Um, hello? You need something? Yeah. More or less. That's a sword. Doesn't look like you're here to talk. That's right. Your little detective game's over, Yagami. Wait, who is that? Yagami-san! Hoshino, come Hoshino, come back. run! Huh? This guy's dangerous. Uh, I can see that. The sign. All part and no bite. I missed. That damage. That was big damage. Holy shit. <laughs> Die, Yagami. All right, champ. We're going crazy, okay? We're going electric hands. And if we still have a red bar, we do. Okay. Med kit. I don't have any med kits. We're gonna go for lightning element. I'm dead again. I don't have, dude, if that hit, if that hits, I'm gonna. 
I swear I don't have medkits left. He fucking removes my entire health bar. This is gonna be a hard fight, chat. Take it this slow. He has a one-shot move. Okay, we'll be full health this time. The, the lightning element, though, is pretty fucking baller. I just need to recognize when he does that move. This is the run. Button mash is the way for it. I didn't button mash, I was spamming the X button when I was on the pin down move. Stance, stance. Let's go then. You done already? Fuck. No, I was dancing. I can't grab when I've... That replaces my grab move, basically, and I can't grab when I'm, I've got an extract going. I dodged it, I dodged it. <laughs> Don't interrupt a man when he's dancing! Oh, let me open up a window, I'm getting sweaty.
Yagami-san, are Let's you try. Okay? I'm fine. But that guy wasn't messing around. What do you mean? He would have killed me for sure if I let him. Maybe one of Hamura's men? What's up, Tuck? How'd your chat with Okubo go? Listen, someone just tried to murder me. Probably sent by Hamura. What? Watch your back, Kaito-san. Where are you now? Right by the office. Got Sugiura with me, too. Don't go back there. Not now. Hmm. All right. I got a place. Oh, yeah? KJ Art, the Kyore HQ. Hamura ain't gonna touch us there. Wait, you're gonna go there after we beat the crap out of Shioya and his whole crew in that club? You think they'll just let us hang out? <laughs> of course I do. We've got Kajihiro on our side. <coughs> we'll go on ahead. Get your ass over there quick, yeah? Be that soon. Sounds like we're meeting at KJR. I heard. Well, let's go. Are you listening to my phone call, bro? Let's go, Hachino. We should buy some med kits, so. Marsh. <laughs> I don't think I can get med kits from here, but we'll try. Hello. Hi, friend. Do you sell med kits? No. Okay, we need to go to a pharmacy. Uh, you're all not a pharmacy. One shop. Are you a pharmacy? Oh. I know there's one up right here. Yes. Hmm. Predict Lady Alley. What about it? Marsh is a fancy place. No. <coughs> He's Zephyr. The unmarked one, you think? Oh, this is the locksmith. It's fine. We'll 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 go to the children's park. We'll go children's park and we'll go to the doctor. <coughs> We actually use the taxi this time. But nah, we're gonna head down to the dock. I think we used all our medkits um, when we fought the last big boss in the in the dance room. The KJ Art guy we're gonna go see now. I think we use our medkits on him. Hey, Doc. Yeah, I need a medical kit. Damn, they're expensive. We want to heal right now, though. Yeah, they're expensive, man. It's fine, we can always play that game again though if we ever need money. <clears throat> um. 
What I miss though? I miss the... One of my favorite things is in Yakuza 7. I love the stock minigame. That stock minigame is so good. Where do we need to go? Bottom right. Yeah, dude, I love that minigame so much. Just buy shit, make shit ton of money. That was fun. Omelette the chicken, yeah, man. Last I checked. Oh, this is gonna shave some years off my life. I'm nervous too. Nervous too. Yagami san, who's your little buddy? I'm, uh, Hoshino, sir, from the Genda Law Office. Uh huh. Well, Kaito san's already here. Sorry to say Shuya's out of the office, but Marase will be glad to entertain you. Come on in. I hope I'm going the right way. Uh, the top floor. For the stairs. Uh huh. Wait. In that room there. This is big room. Isn't there an, another floor? Yeah. One here. Can't open that. Or free. Just keep going up. And that's the roof. We had a ding here though. There they are. Got them. Here you are. Yo! Well, if it isn't Yagami Sensei, come in. Come in. Huh? Sorry about how rude we've been to you till now. German Kajihiras told us to do whatever you say. Listen to this talk. I asked for a massage and he actually gave me one. I had you all wrong, Marase. You're just a big teddy bear. Don't get too carried away, Kaito-san. Maybe I'll see if Shioya will massage me next. Um, I'm gonna say that's probably a bad idea. Anyway, go on and take a load off. Hey, thanks, Marase. Cool guy. Hmm. So Okubo really didn't kill Waku-san all those years ago. If his reaction's anything to go by. He might not have even killed his girlfriend. At least, that's how it looked to me. Huh? I'd rather not go there right now. I've been wondering, Yagami-sensei. Who is that guy? You curious? You can't blame a guy for asking, can you? Well, apparently he's afraid of Yakuza. Better to just leave him alone. Hmm. Huh. Well, okay then. So, Shono's looking more suspicious every day. About time for a good old face-to-face. -face. Yeah, well, we'll just have to confront Shono about it directly. Judging from our last visit, we won't be able to get an appointment. With Shono or Kido. Then we won't make an appointment. All we do is wait in the lobby and ambush Shono when he comes out. A stakeout, huh? That's my kind of job. Actually, you're gonna be staying back. Huh? 
I mean, they'd catch on in a heartbeat if they saw a tough guy like you standing around. And Hoshinokun, you should go back to Genda's. Okay, but... All right then, sounds like I'm tagging along. Hell yeah! Yeah, let's go. I'm down to take Jester. <clears throat> you going? Yep. Taxi time. What up, Yagami-san? Keep up with me, bud. Those guys were about to beat my ass. Man, this place is fucking huge. Language! Keep it close to your chest, Sugiura. We're supposed to blend in, remember? Now let's settle down and wait for Shono. But what if you already went home? Come on, let's ask somebody. I don't want to sit here all night if he's never coming out. Good point. We going? Mm -hmm. Hello, my lady. Excuse me. Do you mind if I ask you something? Yes. Is Shono-san from the 89 team still here? Oh, um, uh, most likely. He's always one of the last researchers to leave. Do you have an appointment with him, sir? Not exactly, no. Oh, Yagami-san, good evening. Oh, you... Hello! Hashimoto, I showed you to Shono's lab the other day. Oh, right. Good to see you. Do you need something more from him? Well... Yagami-san, there he is. It's Shono. Gotta run. Where is he? Over there, by the stairs. Hmm. We going? Hey. What the? One, you motherfucker. Where are you? There you are. Gotcha. Hey. Hmm. What the? Hmm. Right there in the middle. What the? Suspicious. You well? Found him. Looks like he's talking to Kido. What do we do? Okay, let's move in. Well, if it isn't Yagami-san, Kamurocho's finest private eye. Now you again. This had better be the last time I see you in this center. Are you aware that I filed a complaint with the Bar Association about you? Aren't you the Vice Minister of Health? My name is Ichinose. Yeah, I remember you from the other day. Looks like you come here often. Of course. The success of AD9 is a matter of national importance. As such, there are a great many discussions that need to be had. Patents, legislation, the like. Now I suggest you leave before I call the guards to escort you out. <sighs> so much for the plan. Shono's gonna be on red alert after that. Doubt he'll be coming down through the lobby now. What do we do? We going? <laughs> The lady. 
Hashimoto-san. Sorry for running off earlier. It's all right. Hey, I, um, saw what happened. Dr. Shono slipped away from you, huh? Yeah. We just wanted to talk, too. Hmm. He has been especially busy lately. Lately, he only goes home once every three days or so. Even so, he makes his morning rounds at the hospital every single day without fail. I can't overstate how much respect I have for him. Shono makes his rounds every morning? Oh my god, I thought we crashed. What do you mean, rounds? It's a little custom of his. He takes a walk around the hospital every morning. Been doing it for years. Right. He did the same three years ago. Passion like his <coughs> is going to make or break our research. And with that, I should be going. Sorry to be so curt. It's fine. Goodbye, then. Security on Shono's lab is airtight. Can't get in without a special gold key card. But that's not the case for the hospital wing. Meaning, we have some time to kill until Shono's rounds. Wait, you want to chill till the morning and ambush him in the hospital? Yeah, just have to sneak in between now and then. Guess the next question is, where do we get in? Let's check the map. Hmm. <laughs> This is the garage for the hospital. The service entrance, that is. Anyone who makes deliveries parks down here. <laughs> this could work. What the? Hmm? This goes over to the hospital. I think Wakusan was up on the fourth floor. Hey. What the? This gate leads to the hospital. You need a key card to get past, though. Hmm? That's Director Kido's office. There's nothing we need up there. Guess we're sneaking in through the garage, huh? Yeah. Come on, let's head outside. We should go scope the place out. Mm -mm. Stake out. We're leaving. Hello? Can I help you? Are you from the Yagami Detective Agency? That's right. I'm the head of security here. The name's Mashiko. The vice minister has instructed me to see you two out. Did you know say something? Are you blind or something? We're already leaving. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to escort you the rest of the way. I'm right at the door. That's a lot of guys for an escort. Where the hell are you taking us? Answer me, asshole. There, Yakuza. This should be fine. Mashiko san, yeah? What exactly did Ichinose tell you to do? Make sure you never show your face here again. Lightsaber! The fuck? That doesn't look like standard issue guard equipment. <laughs> That's because it's not. This is more of a, uh, personal effect. Oh, let me guess. You're off the clock. You bet. I'm on break, and I'm ready to blow off some steam. Now fight me! Oh, my God. 
Ребята. Grab him, Jester. Let's do a team move. Jester! Grab him or something, man. I wanted to do a tag team move with Jester. Why are they naked? Oh. Come on. Do you have to keep waving? What do you mean? They're the only reason we got in so easy. True, though ultimately we have the vice minister to thank for <coughs> that. So, how's it look? Any different from three years ago? Not even a little bit. Next same. That's where the truck was parked right there. Oh. You're not going in? And lose my perfectly good smoking spot? We'll be fine here for now. Just gotta wait for dawn. <sighs> yeah, Leonis. You put him on just to take him back off. Yagami san, have you decided how you're gonna approach Shono? We'll just have to confront him head on. Where we go from there depends on his response. You don't want to negotiate with him? I doubt we have the time for that. I like the look of that bin on the right. He's like a little duck. After all, this is probably the only chance we'll get to talk to him <coughs> for Ayabe's trial. True. Guess so, huh? Meaning, we don't have time to waste on negotiation. I smell gotcha. garlic bread, chat. Speaking to Shono. I actually had an idea. What's that? Well, the murder at the ADDC three years ago. The thought is that Shono framed Okubo for that and got away with it, right? Mm-hmm. But you defended Okubo and won. Wouldn't the cops have started looking for the real killer once they realized Okubo wasn't their guy? I'm sure they did. But it wasn't long until Okubo killed again. They didn't have much reason to keep searching, I would imagine. Because they needed the guards closed to get into the garage anyway, so... Thanks to that, Shono escaped consequences for what he did. Exactly. Everyone pegged him as the murderer. Makes sense, they'd think he's the one responsible for Wakasan too. But... Don't you think that's kind of convenient? For one person in particular, I mean. Huh? The guy who's doing human experiments at the ADDC. Shona. Your point? <laughs> Basically, I think he killed Emi Terasawa and pinned the blame on Okubo. With all he had to lose, don't you think Shono had a motive? True! That's why he killed yes, him. But I know you're right. Emi chan would have been a threat. But could he really do it? How long have you been thinking this? Since you told me what a mess Okubo is now. It was just a feeling. Honestly, I wanted to believe he didn't kill her. But I just couldn't bring myself to do it. Emi-chan was such a good person. I wasn't going to let it slide. Not after what Okubo-kun did to her. But after all this time, it turns out... Shono is the real killer? Nothing's for sure without evidence. This is all just unfounded speculation. But doesn't it make you want to talk to Shono even more? So once we proved Okubo's innocence, that, 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 okay, it makes so much sense now. The police would have to look for the real murderer. However, Shono killed Emi and pinned it on Okubo so that, that we, they would be convinced that, yo, 
Okubo is the actual murderer, stop looking into who the actual murderer was so that they wouldn't discover that Shono was the real murderer. That's why he killed Emmy, and that's why he framed Okubo. Oh. Yeah. I've never been this ready for mourning. Dude, it makes so much sense now. <clears throat> but like, the difference between the way he killed Waku and the way he killed Emmy is so different. Like the way he killed uh, Waku was completely accidental, apparently, because he was just experimenting with a drug. He literally went out of his way and stabbed a woman. And burnt down the house and pinned it on someone else. Those are two very different ways of killing people. Especially if the first one's accidental. Why are you two here? Dr. Shono, what is it? How did you get in here? I just want to ask you a few questions, Dr. Shono. Well, I don't have anything I can say to you. Apologies. I need you to handle this. I have to go. Where are you going? This won't take long. Sorry. I can't let you go any further. Call security. Shono! <laughs> Let's go, Yagami-san. We can't let him get away. It's our only chance. Time to beat up some scientists. Oh my god, they're so weak. And the patients are cheering us on! Shona, wait! Hold up. Oh this is Shona! 30 seconds! Just get over here! <laughs> the same animation. Won't get away. Now you're fucked. Uh huh. This is Shono. Thirty seconds. I can't wait for three minutes. I can. What's wrong? Show me what you got. What's wrong? Here of all places. This is the room, right? Where Wakusan was staying? The man who died after you used him as a test subject for 89. 
Why'd you do it, Shono? For the glory? Thought nobody'd notice one missing dementia patient? What are you talking about? Get out of here! This is trespassing! Huh. You sure you want us to go? Uh, huh? I thought you'd be a little more curious about how much of your secret I really know. I, I don't know what you're talking about. You're the one backing the mole. Isn't that right? Huh? How dare you accuse me of... That's not all I know. Hamura's the middleman. You pretty satisfied with his work? I won't stand for this baseless slander. What proof do you have? <laughs> You just made a big mistake, Shono-san. Huh? You've been working non-stop on this new drug, right? No way the street slang about a murderer would have reached your ears. You were supposed to ask what the mole is. <laughs> uh, what is the mole? There's a good boy. The serial killer who's been gouging people's eyes out. It all started three years ago. Right here in the center. <sighs> you performed an 89 experiment on Wakusan while he was asleep. Probably late at night. And when he died, you did the only thing you could. Snuck him out. <sighs> I'm sure Wakusan's death came as a complete shock to you. But you didn't have time to panic. You needed to hide the body, fast. So, you use the laundry cart to transport it without raising suspicion. You just needed to get it as far away as possible. Then, just before 8 a.m., Shinpei Okubo arrived at the hospital to gather the linens. That was your chance. You waited for an opening, hid the body in his truck. That wouldn't solve anything, though. Okubo would find Wakusan, and of course call the cops. Naturally, they'd then search for whoever stashed the body there. But you didn't have any other choice, did you? You had to take the risk, and somehow, it paid off. Turned out, Shinpei Okubo had a criminal record and was worried the police would suspect he murdered Wakusan. So, he didn't report it. Instead, choosing to bury the body deep in the Okutama Mountains. You were probably thrilled with Okubo. I mean, it's practically a miracle someone else stepped up and took the blame for you, wouldn't you say? I don't know what you're talking about. But then another miracle happened. One not so convenient for you. Okubo walked. And if he was innocent, that would mean someone else killed Wakusan. They might have even come after you if you didn't do anything. Which is when you sold your soul to the devil. What, what, what do you mean by that? Don't play dumb with me. You know all too damn well what I'm talking about. You needed to frame Okubo. And you murdered someone in cold blood to do it. Murder? Who are you accusing me of killing? Emi Tarasawa. Emi Tarasawa. A co-worker of yours. And Okubo's girlfriend. Oh. You forced your way into their apartment and murdered Emmy. According to the autopsy report, she was stabbed at least 15 times. I didn't. Did she tell you Okubo-kun had been taking pills to help him sleep at night? Conveniently enough, he didn't wake up while you were murdering his girlfriend. Him smelling like booze was probably your doing too. Let me guess, you injected him with alcohol? That'd raise his BAC no problem. And sure, he could have died if you messed up, and that wouldn't have mattered. As long as you could chalk up Emmy's murder to a drunk, suicidal Okubo-kun. 
And once you made sure you could pin the blame on Okubo, you set fire to the whole apartment. What evidence do you have to... Don't worry. I can't prove it yet. But I'm damn near positive I'm on the right track. I can see it in your eyes. Look. I know what you're thinking. 89 will save countless people. Meaning there's no way you're not doing the right thing. Well, I'm sorry to break it to you, Shono. But that's just not true. You know, when someone thinks they're in the right, that's when the real cruelty in people starts to come out. So what do you say, Shono? Are you really right? <laughs> Just what is going on in here, damn it? Oh, hey. We were just heading out. Why, you... And by the way, so sorry to hear about 89. Maybe you, uh, need a few more humans to test it on? <gasps> Don't worry. Shono-san here didn't tell us a damn thing. But hey. I'm gonna find out the truth. Even if it's the last thing I do. I got goose pimples. Kido is always an asshole. But when he said that then, Kido looked so defenseless, dude. Yagami! Oops. My foot slipped. Is that Yagami? How clumsy of me. No. That hurt. Huh? Uh, I don't think I you know who this is. If it... Oh. Please. I didn't kill her. You that's Shintani? me. Oh, crying's not gonna help you now, kid. Just like it didn't help Emi Terasawa. You still stuck in the fucking stomach, didn't you, you little shit? Hmm. Look, Okubo, I don't want to go getting your hopes up just yet. But... Just listen. I believe you. I was gonna say... I believe you. You didn't kill her. I can see that now. It'll all work out. I'm gonna avenge Emi-chan. And I swear I'm gonna get you out of here. I promise. Sorry, I... I should have said that to you a lot sooner. What was I doing? These three years... I didn't do a damn thing to help you. So, will you give me another chance? Of course I will. Of course. Thank you so much. Need to save him fast, man. He's on death row. 
That was a really good chapter. That was like everything we've built up in these last ten chapters all just came together. Three years ago, a dementia patient at the ADDC was murdered. Even now, Shinpei Okubo, the man convicted of the crime, pleads innocence. But Yagami's theory that this chain of events was set in motion by human experimentation for AD9 unveils the true culprit behind Emi Terasawa's death. Um, I'm gonna go discuss a few things with Ayabe-san. Yagami-san? Oh, yeah, Ayabe. No, I'm going alone. Yagami-san, well, he may be keeping his distance for a while. He thinks the mole might target him, so he doesn't want to get us involved. You should watch your back too, Genda-sensei. Ah, yeah. Been a while since he's been this distant. Knowing Yagami-san, he'll want to see Hello, every Miocha. single incident related to AD-9. And if he does... Maybe he can prove that Ayabe-san and Okubo-kun are innocent. Clearing Shinpei Okubo's name this late on? Yagami'd be a damn hero. I think he might enjoy that. Yeah, hero is hardly a big enough word. A legend is more like it. Don't get ahead of yourself, kid. The bugs in the Matsugane office are still working, just like I said they'd be. Good. Can you hear anything? Just small talk. Sounds like there are a ton of people in there. Hamura too? <laughs> Doubt it. Everyone be on edge with him in the house. No chance of small talk. But Hamura's still gonna get in touch with him, right? Hmm. Maybe. What do you mean, maybe? You're the one who said he'd be calling him. You don't gotta lose your shit over it. Where the hell is he? Guess all we can do now is sit here and wait till somebody spills the beans. I miss Ayabe, chat, man. Put that shit out. You're stinking up the whole van. <sighs> Fair enough. Just roll down the window. Bad habit. Sorry, but you're just gonna have to deal. Anyway, you're serious about capturing Hamura, yeah? Yeah. He's our only chance of finding the mole. We don't get Hamura. We lose. Oh yeah, I want to know who the mole is. Done for. Yeah, what if the mole is in the someone we know? Help us you know? Him. Luckily, I have just the thing. What if the mole is like Spine Genda Sensei? A bit windy. Uh. Hmm. Isn't this the Matsugane office? The hell are you no. going, man? We're supposed to be scouting the office. Yeah. Hmm. Is that Higashi? Yup. Guy really thinks he's hot shit, huh? <laughs> Guess he's moving up in the world. Maybe with Hamura gone, he's been able to relax a little. Hmm? Oh, the actual Sweet. pigeon drone has a little pigeon head on it. Never noticed that before. Hand on shoulder. Hey, Higashi. I'm gonna follow him. Better to split up than I'll sit around in one place. 
I'll and come with you. My legs are getting sore as shit in here. So what? I'm stuck here by myself? I'll switch with you later. Promise. Good guy, Kaito. So you stick out like a sore thumb, man. Interesting, we're tailing four people. A nice one disappeared. dude. Not suspicious at all. <laughs> this is the worst tail mission ever. I don't know what it wants me to do. Them. He's just standing there, you know? It probably wants me to, like, crouch down at a certain spot. Oh. Who's 
losing them. Hmm? I'm losing them. You want me? Okay. Hey, talk. You sure we can be out like this? Good point. Shono could be sending his assassin after us as we speak. <laughs> we could get attacked <coughs> at any time. Huh. Thought so. Okay, now we gotta keep an eye out for an assassin. Good job, Kaito. <laughs> You're losing them! Another one left. Eventually it'll just be Higashi, I suppose. Ooh, chat, you know what we haven't done yet? We haven't eaten any food. Once we're done tailing, I'll treat you guys to a nice, delicious bowl of food. Maybe we go to the nice ramen place? my camera much more. Do a drink as well. We'll see, we'll see. What's the other guy doing? Like, we're tight with Higashi. I guess he did try and kill us earlier, but... That doesn't count. Where the hell's Higashi going? No clue, but he's alone now. We could just walk up to him and ask. You really think he's gonna listen to us? Haven't talked to him since our fight at that restaurant. Worst thing that happens is he says no. <laughs> Guess you got a point there. All right, let's give it a shot. Igashi! What the? He's bolting. Why? Hmm? You want Get back here. Where'd he go? Oh, fuck this. Higashi, I'm just trying to talk to you, bro. No, oh, he's throwing shit! Ah! What the fuck? Oh! That's a good throw you got there, bro. I don't, I've never seen anyone throw a bicycle like that before. Oh, fuck this. oh my goodness. Agashi, stop! At the back of Serena. 
place is really Why? like holy ground to me. Done chat. running. I wasn't running away. <laughs> Not from you, anyway. Huh? I just couldn't let the family see us talking. You get it? I get it. I miss Rain so Sun too. Hear us out. Higashi, he, you fucking. He's not going to run anymore. Just take it easy, Kaifus Hamura. Huh? Okay, look. Captain Hammer is throwing everything he's got into catching the two of you. The whole family's got orders to let him know if you ever cross our path. Meaning, if you called him now, he'd come straight to us. And then what, huh? He wants you dead. You know that, right? Just tell me where he is. See ya, Anon. Nobody's told me. Honest, listen. Oh no. I'm That's not fine. gonna rat about seeing you here. But if I were you, I'd consider getting out of town real fast. That Matsugani san would agree with me too. You know, that wasn't as bad as I was expecting. Should we take him up on that offer? Skip town, wait till it all blows over? Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Just joking. Anyway, it sounds like Hamra's got men looking for us, and they're out for blood. So what? What do you mean, so what? If they want to find us so bad, let them find us. Anyone who comes our way is in for a world of hurt. And once we <laughs> capture them, we can force him to tell us where Hamare is. How are you so confident? They might kill us before we get a chance to fight. Maybe even gouge our eyes out. Then what? You want to just sit in the car with Sugiura in the non-smoking section? <laughs> yeah. It doesn't sound so good either. Damn right it doesn't. Now go walk around a bit. I'll be watching from behind. Hey. If you say so. He's got my back. Oh, and try and make yourself look like an easy target. How exactly am I going to do that? Beats me. I'm sure you can think of something. <laughs> Yo, talk. Can you hear me? Yep. Just go wherever and try to look vulnerable. I've got your back. Bro. Hmm. How to look vulnerable. song playing right now. How much health are we looking at? We're full health. So we can't have dinner yet, chat. Yeah. I know what to do. I'm not even you trying yet. Be sheep or something. Why are you even doing that? Can you not? This is how I always walk. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. And don't worry. You're in the clear for now. I hope you're watching. I am. I am. We don't know what's gonna happen next, though. You might want to grab a bite while you still can. Thanks for the heads up. I was gonna go to VR Paradise. But let's not. Yeah, Kaido wants us to eat too.
Fuck, man. I can't eat anything. I'm not hungry. Onion rings? Yeah, man. I might buy some later. They're like £1.50 for onion rings at this place I like. You might want to try looking even weaker. And how am I going to do that? Hmm. Maybe if you tried getting drunk? Not a bad idea. Guess I'll stop by Tender then. Tender we go. I like this song right now, though. This is, I bet you this song is going to play at the end of the game. This gives me end of the game vibes. Oh, that guy's name was Oda. You guys remember Oda-san from Yakuza 0? That was a cool character. Oda was freaking awesome. He was the guy with blonde hair and the sick red, red suit. Was it red? I feel like it was red. I feel like it was like leopard too. Must we? Oda was real cool. Yeah, he had swag. It's, it's incredible how many cool characters Yakuza Zero had. Come on, man. Hey, she's here. Might want to leave. Talk. Hey, Marie. Back, you're a sight for sore eyes. Right back at you. How's business these days? Sure. Fabulous as always. Do you even need to ask? No way, we can take her on a date. <laughs> I guess not. How do I get on your level, Marie? Teach me the ways. Hmm. Mm. Lately I've been thinking about the secret to success, success, success. Oh my goodness. Success. And I think it depends entirely on one's insight. Mm -hmm. Insight, yeah. For instance, I gain a lot by reading people's gestures and facial expressions. So I make my moves. Hmm. Tell me impressed. Oh? I'm sure you're just as good. You are a detective, aren't you? <laughs> well, yeah. Hey. Why don't you and I play a little game? What kind of game? Sure. You're an office worker type sitting over there. Bet on how many more drinks he'll take before he uses the restroom. You can really infer that? Yep. I'd say he is good for three more. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> You're not getting it, are you? Let me give you a hint. I noticed he came back from the restroom not too long ago. But let's assume he's feeling pretty relieved. Talk. I'll talk. If you had to guess, how many more drinks will it take to send it back to the little boy's hmm. room? Hmm, let me think this through. Maybe his body language will give me some kind of hit. Uh -huh. hmm. His face isn't red or anything like that. Just start drinking? Maybe he's got a high tolerance for alcohol. But there's no way to tell just from looking hey. at his face. Do you squint in, Tuck? Give me a second here. Suspicious. Don't see him squirming around or eyeballing the restroom or anything like that. He's still hey. good. Stare at him and hope the answer comes to you. Give me a second here. Doesn't seem like he's reading body language will get me very far. Maybe it's less about him or about his choice of drink. What the? What's he hey. drinking over there? Hey, Chief, what's that guy mm. having? Hmm? Ah, oh, red eye. Ah. Okay, that's a cocktail with tomato juice and mm -hmm. beer, right? You got it. Tomato juice is rich in potassium, which is a natural diuretic. Which may just mean he'll get up to use the restroom sooner than he thinks. <clears throat> All right, I think I gathered enough info Listen. to make a guess. Listen! You ready to up the ante tack? Don't keep a lovely <laughs> lady waiting. My bad, I'm ready now. I'll let the betting begin. How many drinks before he busts? One. We'll go right after one more drink. <laughs> wow, aggressive. All right then. 
Oh, and I probably should have mentioned Luther huh? the tab. Talk. Hey, what? Just the one you tag? Maria drinks like a fish as it is. But today, she's been drinking like a whale. Better watch out. Are you serious? <laughs> Relax. Let's just see how this plays out. Mm. Please let me be right. Boy. Hey, call me another if you mm -hmm. would. Coming right up. Uh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well whip out your wallet right now. I haven't lost just yet. If he gets up after the next one, then it's a draw. Sure. <laughs> Then we'll just have to wait and see. Oh man, I gotta hit the can back in a sec. Don't need my permission. Damn, so it was two drinks. Ah, oh, I was off today. Gotta up my game here. Oh, it's a draw then. Hmm. Guess I could settle for a draw today. That was a close Jack. one. But I have to know, what made you come to that conclusion? Because of what he's drinking. You know how red eye contains tomato juice? Well, tomato juice is rich in potassium, which is a natural diuretic. Figured sooner has, was better than later. Wow, you really thought that one through. Guess you're not a detective for nothing, huh? I'm actually impressed. <clears throat> <laughs> uh, I was just doing my thing. <laughs> Let's do this again sometime. A drink and a bet. Make any night more interesting. I like that. But Marie... I'm here for other reasons. Well, you sure took your sweet time in there. Did you forget the mission talk? Huh? You're supposed to be luring out Hamura's goons, not drinking with the fucking locals. Seriously? You're the one who told me to get drunk. Guess I did, huh? I'm sick of waiting, though. How about we just go bust into the Matsugane office? Think about how many guys they've got. We'd be fools to charge in there. Then... Oh, I got it. Uh-huh. Try going to one of the Matsugane clubs. And that'll help how? You just show up and tell them Yagami's here. Word will probably make it up to Hamura in no time. You know, that might actually work. Just point me to a club and we'll go from there. Let me see. Why don't you try Alvin over on Tenkaichi Street? All right, I'll head over now. Tenkaichi, let's go! Can't catch me! I don't recognize Alvin. This is a new bar to me. Or club, rather. And I wish, and I'm thinking of the like the cat fighting game and the battle bug game, you know. Ah, uh, dude, I don't want to do all this. Yeah, cat fight. What's going on? Didn't you hear what we said last week? I want a fucking answer today! <laughs> Please, it, it's not exactly possible right now. It better be fucking possible! With how fast your management costs are rising, of course your protection's gonna cost more! N no Tuck, those thugs are Matsugane. No doubt about it. Agreed. Maybe you should, uh, help or something. That guy looks like he could use a hand. You could at least try to sound interested. Just hurry up and get it over with. I think you've had enough fun for one day. Huh? The fuck? Wait, that's Yagami. The hell are you doing here? My question first. Why are you threatening the civilian? None of your fucking business! Ugh, <laughs> watch the volume. Or is yelling the only thing a dumb guy like you can do? Oh, that must be why you're bottom of the ladder. It all makes sense now. You little... I'll slaughter you! That guy ran so fast.
Nut shot. Ooh, he got a knife. Listen up. <laughs> Go tell your precious Captain Hamra that Yagami was here. Uh... Got that? <laughs> Captain Hamra? Just do it. Okay. You know, Tom, this strategy is pretty solid, huh? Well, we'll find out soon enough. You know any other Matsugane joints, Kaito-san? We should hit a few just to be safe. There's Romance of the Three Kingdoms over on Pink Street. Fantastic Good name. Romance on West Shichifuku. And, uh, oh, Sweet Billow on East Shichifuku. All right, I'll try all of them. And we go to the one on the right first, and north and west. Yeah, it is a good name. <clears throat> so, this is Romance of the Three Kingdoms. How about stopping in for a round, pal? We got the finest girls to satisfy any kink. Do you work here? Yeah, just come on in, buddy. I'll give you a great deal. This is a Matsugane place, right? Huh? What do you... I, uh... I don't want any trouble, man. It's not like that. Just tell your boss Yagami stop by. Uh, I'm not sure I follow. Just do it, okay? I gotta go. Next. That I told you I'd treat you. And this is my favorite restaurant in this game. Katsu Tonkatsu Ramen. But we're gonna stick, we're gonna go for this one here. And that's all we can get. I'm gonna do it. Get up, chatters. Good stuff. Fuck oh, yeah, dude. Okay, Lucky Mass. Dakimas. Is it Ikidakimas? Is that what I say? Dakimasu. I don't know. Thanks for the food. Perfect. So, this is Sweet Billow, huh? Meaning the guy puffing away over there. Why don't someone just. Yeah, hey. Let me ask you, the name's just telling me look. We're just gonna be the same thing three times, you know? Just skip through it this time. Speedrunner. It's gonna be the same for all three. Alone. So this place is fa huh? It's good to see you, gentlemen. Don't good to see you, me. You're late on your payment, guy? and you know it. I'm sorry, sir. Our sales haven't been the best this month. The work on your pitch. Just being open is not enough to bring in customers. Looks like you're right on time, Talk. Go on, introduce yourself. Yeah, sure. Excuse me, are you guys open? Welcome, sir. We... What the? Yagami! Oh, are you from the Matsugane family? It's good to see you. Who the fuck do you think you are, strolling up on us like it's no big deal? I want to see Captain Hamura. Know where he is? You little shit. Who do you think you're talking to? 
You're never nice shit. Guys you're got a nice shirt, right chat. Do something real quick. It's gonna be in skills. Let's see. Battle. Ooh, yeah. Forgot about that one. Quick attack and leash from a leapfrog allows you to get behind enemies while signing on. Press X while leapfrogging over an enemy. Oh! I had um, a, a, a heat move I could have used. <sighs> Satisfied? <sighs> Damn it! If you know what's good for you, you'll report this to your family. I'm out of here. Yo, oh. Kaito. That was freaking amazing talk. Yeah, you think? Yep. Absolute perfection. Hummer will have guys on your ass in no time. Just keep walking around town. Won't be long till they jump you. Got it. All right, now we get jumped. Before we do, let's catch up on some other combos we have. Yeah, why, why, why? After X, yeah, we gonna we know that one. Probably get this. Oh, I need to unlock these. Yeah, I'm gonna have to buy them. Yeah, we need these. These are important. You have not met the proper requisition. Corresponding skill book somewhere in the city. Hmm. Yeah, I need skill books to get more moves. Dark army performs a counter attack. Be all wild while being grabbed by a weak enemy. Does it EH gauge every time you dodge an attack? We'll, we'll get this now. Mm hmm. Oh, new skill. All right, chat. Just gonna go pee. I'll be, I'll be.
What a banger! I'm back and I got pizza. I'll let the song finish. Welcome back, chat. Hmm. I've, I've peed. I've got pizza. I'm good to go. whole album is so good. So many fucking good songs in Yakuza 0, man. Such a vibe. Yeah, man. Is that Matsugane? No. Matsugane assholes aren't dumb enough to jump you with so many witnesses in sight. Where'd you have in mind? I was thinking the champ streets are so narrow there. Well, that's a sk Champion District. Machine Gun Kiss is a good song, but Judgment's gonna be my favorite. Judgment was my first exposure to karaoke in this game. In these games. Has anyone in chat played or watched like a dragon Ishin at all? I'm not playing it until I finish this game. Hence why I'm trying to finish this game. Oh, hell yeah, Leonis. Are you liking it? Kaita san. I swear it's like. like I can feel someone watching me. Are you there? They've got Kaito. A hand here. I'm right behind you, buddy. Kaito san. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, come on, man. Why would you bring more? <laughs> I love you, Kaito. I'm just getting started, 
Show me what you got. Boy, it was over. Where's Hamura? Get after him, Tark. Make him cough up all he knows about Hamura. Got it. Of course. Alright, can't eat pizza during this. What did I are? I looked at chat, that's why that one took me so long. What are they throwing? Hold up. Oh shit. These guys got some stamina. Hell yeah, dude. You're out of options. <laughs> hey, I got him. Okay, I know you work for Hamura. I want to know where he is. When he finds you, you're dead, Hiagami. Is that so? I do. What the... You should really see the look on your face right now, Kaito. Hamura. Higashi. Higashi. Matsukane-san? I gave you every chance to walk away from this. Come on, Jester, save us. You just couldn't mind your own business, could you? And now you're gonna die for it. You pushed this one too far. Hamura. <laughs> Killing you is gonna feel real good. Is this really necessary? Don't make this harder than it needs to be, okay? Don't you think I've pulled enough of the family's weight already? Please don't. I don't care how much like sons these two are to you. Your loyalty is to the Matsugane family first. Besides, you know there's no other way. Are you out of your fucking mind? You need to lower the gun right now! No, Kaito! You shut your goddamn mouth! <laughs> <laughs> Kaito! Kaito-san! Yagami-san! 
Kaido san! No, don't! We have to get out of here! Shit! Stop, you fuck! Stop right there! I think we lost him. What about Kaito-san? Hamura shot him in the stomach. So we'd have to carry him out. After that, I don't know. Oh, damn it. We gotta go after him. Hold on. How'd you know where we were? I was sitting in the van listening in on the Matsugane office. They all rolled out, so I followed. Do you know where Hamra's hold up then? Maybe they dropped a hint while you were listening. Hmm. I did hear them mention the Soleil building once or twice. You think that's where they took Kaito-san? Can't say for sure. He could be anywhere, really. But it's worth looking into. It sounded like Soleil's been abandoned for a while. We can second-guess ourselves later, then. Let's get moving. <coughs> Sounds good. What, who's, what's the, what, what? Why would they go for the trouble of capturing Kaito if they can just- they're there to kill him. They probably would have just killed him. That's it. The Soleil building. Hold on. I recognize those guys out front. They're Matsugane for sure. Does that mean Kaito-san's actually in there? Hard to tell from out here. Looks like they're guards down, though. Guess we just gotta bust in, then. The sooner the better. You ready, Yagami-san? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, so I'm not letting Kaito be fucking shot and um, alone. Hey, that's... Yagami, you got balls showing up around here. I will literally kill these guys. <laughs> Uh. Bang! Let's go, Yagami. Not right now, Sana san. Alright, dungeon time. Hang on. Okay, we can't check anyway. Oh, what do we do, chat? What do we do? They got Kaito. I'm just gonna get a bunch of skills check. What? Ooh! Oh, we should have gone for these first. Okay, we'll get those next. Oh, interesting. Okay, we're gonna save up the rest of our points for that. Let's go. Did I not just get something that makes lockpicking easier? Almost there. Nice. That'll do it. It's him again. Yagami! Ha! 
<laughs> Ooh! <coughs> Fuck him up, Jester. We dodged it. Ball run, please. I figured out how you're supposed to fight in this stance now. You're supposed to do your charge attacks between each move. <laughs> I've been I was in the room next door, bro. Nice mechanical spear. No, not now, Santa. That's a new one. We haven't done that one before. Ah, that was a forward phrasing one. Jester, wake up! Fucking heal. <laughs> oh, nice. I'm only resign from here. Dodging. I can't do anything during this. Don't worry, Jester. Ah! 
Okay, I need to do one, two, three. Dude! Oh, I had so much health left. <laughs> It's an EX move I can do though. But that's like a stun move. If you get hit by the blade at all, you get stunned. Got him. I landed it. Damn it. Gonna have to try something else. <clears throat> That's such a pussy, yo. Are you alright there, Jester? Shit, I can't fight like this. Find the light switch, Yagami san. Give me a second. There'll be like ninjas everywhere when I turn the light on. Thanks. <laughs> what was the point in that? when you have to pick a lock on the timer. Ah, uh, get the gun guy, get the gun guy! Is a rock. That is not a cardboard box. Let's do this. Yagami! What the fuck? <laughs> Soup time. Over here. You scared? 
What am I supposed to do? He's like unstunnable with shotgun. No. Why? Why did it just try to change my difficulty? Oh, and it's like unhealable health too. Okay. I can see guys in the background already. I wish I could one hand a chair like that. built a fucking maze for me. There's gonna be a jump scare. Sit down, plebs. There should be one left. Oh, all dead. Come on, cane guy. This guy won't give up. Oh my god. Uh. Get in there, boys. Hey! Oh, 
this one. Nice. Almost there. Nice. Did I not Almost just like there. get a perk that lets me lock it easier? Perfect. See those. Here we go. Final fight. Boo. Finally, I was getting bored of waiting. Sugiura, don't worry about me. Just go find Kaito son. You think I'd let you do that? <laughs> Whoa! Magic. Why are you mad? He's actually a magician. I'm done playing. Time to go in for the kill. Okay. He killed me. <laughs> he actually did go in for the kill. Chat, we're gonna pull out everything here, okay? Sugiura! Don't worry about me! Just go find Kaito son! You think I'd let you do that? Are you gonna use superpowers? Change form. Not 
Time to go in for the kill! Let's finish this! Actually, honest. Surprised you decided to stick around. Not gonna try to run? Go fuck yourself, Doc. Let him go right now. Ha. <sighs> what makes you think you have the upper hand here? They went through the trouble of bandaging him. Kaito-san. <laughs> hey. He sounds worried. <laughs> oh! oh. You piece of shit! You asked for it. This time, let's finish it for real assholes. That all? Get him away from the window, please. Just need a minute, Kaito-san. Sure, what's the rush? <sighs> this what you want? I'm gonna fucking kill you! Fuck you, Hammer. Oh. 
I felt good. Finally got to beat his fucking ass up. Kane man was harder, bro. Is it over, yagami -san? <sighs> Yeah. Glad you're okay. Come give me a hand. How do you feel, Kaito-san? <sighs> what, me? It was just a scratch. <sighs> I'm good on my own. <clears throat> Still acting tough with lead in your stomach? Who are you trying to impress? <sighs> Yo, let me jump in too. Higashi. Matsugane. Matsugane-san, too. My van's right outside. You two get him to a doctor. There's something I still need to do here. Got it. Guess I'm joining your little party. Hell yeah! Even the threat of death can stop you guys. <laughs> Took you long enough. <coughs> hey, it's about time you give us some answers. Yagami would never shoot. I'm time on you, so just cooperate and it'll all be fine. <coughs> what, your murderer friend abandon you? Not much use if he won't come when you need help. Boss, listen. Things are gonna get ugly if I die here. Neither of you will survive the aftermath. It's not too late to put a stop to this. Just end this fucker and be done with it. And if I don't, the mole will kill us both. Is that what you're saying? Look, some people you can get away with betraying. And some people you can't. And which am I, I wonder? Boss. Pick your poison, Hamra. You die betraying the mole, or you die defending him. Who is it? This ought to be good. We're going to bring this murderer to justice. Now tell me where I can find him, and his identity. Answer me! I'd rather die. What? Don't play dumb with me. You think I'm gonna talk that easy? Pull the fucking trigger! If you say so. Oh my god. Jolly, I knew huh. it was unloaded. Didn't think you'd really stand your ground. <sighs> we can't stay here. Who knows when his backup might arrive? Are the Matsugani still after us? Most likely. Embarrassing as that is to admit. Well, guess we gotta figure out how to make you talk. Huh? Luckily, I've got a place in mind. You heard of the Honmaruen Cabaret? It's a Kyore stronghold. <laughs> what? I'm sure your former prey will be thrilled to see you. If they can't break you, I don't know what can. I doubt you'll last, though. It'll be damn interesting either way. Now come on, let's go. Taking him straight to the Curie. The Curie were the Chinese Mafia, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Xavier. Mr. X. <coughs> <laughs> Here he is, the man of the hour. Glad you could make it, Hamura. Huh, and you must be Patriarch Matsugane. It's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Though if you ask me, Tojo leadership should be better at keeping their dogs chained up. Agreed. There is no excuse for how I acted. Shioya-san. We're gonna make Hamra tell us who the mole is. Think he can keep us safe till then? <laughs> maybe, maybe not. This is what Chairman Kajihiro wants. You don't want to disobey his orders, do you? Well, that's rude. 
I still haven't paid you back for what you did. I was gonna me. say I beat this if guy up. Mind, I'd like to settle that first. For what I did, you're the one who kidnapped Mafu. You, if you ask me, you got what was coming to you. <clears throat> Fine, under one condition. What? Once you're done with him, you give Hamura to us. Deal. Deal. <laughs> Gladly. What? No witty comeback? I think that's a first for you. Shut it. Actual easiest deal of my life. <coughs> I hate that when I kept dying, the game was telling me, do you want to put it on easy mode? AD9's dark human experiments. The mole who facilitated them. As Yagami gets closer to the truth, the trap is sprung. Details come at the cost of Kaito's blood. And each word that Hamura, the Matsugane family captain, speaks. Hey, Yomo, you in chat? Pulls back the veil a little further. Kaito's okay. Yomo needs to know that Kaito's okay. Curtain call. Is this the finale? Get your fucking hands off me. <laughs> this is as good a spot as any. You need any instruments. You just ask me. Hopefully, it doesn't come to that. Now, I think it's about time we got some answers. And you're gonna give them to us. Should we take it from the top? First off, the one in control of all this is Shono, the 89 researcher. How long have you been working for him? Murdering for him? I already have a pretty good idea. How about I guess? <laughs> the first time you used the mole was... Okay, it's gonna make me go. Um, it was Hashiki, right? Because we believe Shono killed Emmy. Shono killed Emmy himself. Uh, Shono killed this person. Mole killed this person. But Hashiki died before Shintani. And Shintani was helping us investigate the Kyrie clan murder. So it has to be Hashiki's murder. For Hashiki, oh, the vice director of the ADDC. He got beat to death six months ago, as you well know. Hey, Antha. Hashiki had a secret deal with Chairman Kajihira. Together, they were gonna poke holes in this 89 business. There's still a big twist coming, no chat, because based on what H Hamura said, there's another group or something involved that we don't know about. Hashiki's little investigation posed a big problem. That is, until he got beaten down in the back streets of Kamurocho. Hashiki was fatally wounded by the mole survived for another three weeks. That kept suspicion off Shono and left practically no evidence. Only the most skilled killer could pull something like that off. In other words, the assassin you and Shono have been using. <laughs> Think you struck a nerve. You're a real crack detective, Yagami. You know, I personally funded his time at law school. Never would have passed the bar without me. No shit. I'd say you made a good investment. Paying off in spades. Uh, do you mind? I'm kinda in the middle of something here. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> so, where's your friend? No clue. Hi, Leonis. But he'll be here soon enough. All three of you are dead where you stand. He says the mole's on his way here. Oh, is he now? I'd love to have a chat with the lad. He's dead. K 
Keep dreaming, pal. He'd wipe the floor with your backcountry ass. Enough, Hamra. Tell us who the mole is and how you started working with him. Have those instruments handy? Coming right up. All right, all right, I'll talk. That's almost a shame. I like when it's tool time. <laughs> now, who is the mole? <laughs> At first, he was just an informant feeding off the chaos that breeds in a camarocho like flies. Oh, wait, it's Ayabe. An informant? Yep. And he was trained by one of the best in the business. Rose to prominence after the cops busted his mentor. And that made the mole the top guy in the biz. One of those situations where the students surpassed the master. Nobody could beat his intel. Could get his hands on anything you needed to. Guns, forged documents, you name it. Before long, we'd formed a nice little partnership. Started making a name for ourselves. Thinking about it, it's been about 20 years now. And? My father! Or it's tools. 20 years ago is when my dad died. Once I got the gig as captain of the Matsugane family, I started relying on him even more. Let me tell you, the guy could dispose of a corpse like it was the easiest damn thing in the world. He had nerves of steel. And he's never even sworn up. Flash forward to a couple years ago, he said he was ready to start doing hits. That's when my... <laughs> Big chance finally came. It was the mole who brought assassinations to the table. Who's the real Yakuza here? Honestly, I wasn't that big on the whole murder thing. But the dangerous shit's what really brings in the cash. So, I started touting his services around the darker side of Kamarocho. <laughs> Felt like I added a new dish to my menu. This is no time for jokes, you fool. What, you don't approve of my methods? This city will swallow you whole if you don't got the cash. And protecting the family name doesn't come cheap. <sighs> you think Kaido could have toughed it out with all his swagger? We'd have vanished by now. But with enough money, who knows? We could have rode it to the top of the Tojo clan. Wasn't that always part of the dream, boss? It was, yes. But not anymore. Uh, that's so. <laughs> that's funny. Because I spent my entire life chasing that dream for you. The goal you fucking told me to strive for! Let's get back on topic, shall we? Tell me this. You started shopping the mole services around. What then? What happened? <sighs> Wasn't long till we got our first hit. Our mark was Hoshki, vice director of the ADDC. And Shono's the one who hired you? So I heard. He always contacted me through someone else. I see, so there was a middleman that connected the Kamurocho Yakuza to ADDC. Guy by the name of Ishimatsu. That's a new name. Short little guy. Always had this creepy fucking smile on his face. At the time, we all thought this was gonna be a one-off. Didn't do much prying, you know. Never even knew why they wanted the guy dead. We just took the ten mil and did what we were asked. They wanted him to die discreetly, though, right? Pretty much. So he did. Ishimatsu took a real shine to us after that. A few months later, he was back with another job. And that was? Well, gathering test subjects for their 89 experiments. Mm -hmm. And disposing of the bodies.
Real cutscene. So you just want me to abduct these Curie guys? You don't want them dead? That is correct. And your reward is a hundred million yen each. <laughs> Real funny. Last time it was ten for a hit job. Why give us so much more to kidnap a few guys? <laughs> funny you should ask that. It could very well end up being more than just a few guys. We're not quite sure how many we might want. Perhaps just one. Or maybe even ten might not be satisfactory. Ten, huh? The key point is, we expect this to be a long-term partnership. Given the sensitive nature of this task, naturally we expect the utmost secrecy. I sincerely hope this 100 million conveys the importance of that. What about the Kyori guys? What happens to them, huh? It's unfortunately likely that they'll end up dead. Excuse me if this is presumptuous, but considering the amount I'm offering, would that also cover the body disposal? Or would that, uh, cost extra? Drop the fucking act, asshole! <gasps> Where are you getting that kind of money, huh? A hundred mil just to kill one goddamn Yakuza? <laughs> I actually never said you needed to kill anyone. I only requested that you bring them to us. And then... You would just dispose of the evidence, duh. I don't see where this is going! You think the Yakuza are your tool? You don't understand. My only role is delivering the message. My employer, he's the root of all of this. And... You have no idea how many billions of yen he has to ensure his objectives are achieved. What? If you pull that trigger right now, who knows how decisive the retribution might be. Those billions could instead be shifted toward erasing you. What was that? Just think about it. How long will you be able to survive? Use your head, Captain Hamura. There's no escape. Once you agreed to meet with me today, you all but guaranteed your participation and your compliance. So I strongly suggest you put the gun away. Does that make sense? A big ass handgun. are seriously that big, huh? Tell me more. Talk. Allow me to answer your question. It's true that we have access to vast amounts of money, yes. Is that we're Kido? not the violent organization you think no. we are. Oh, yeah? Who are you? Ishimatsu's superior. Uh... My name's Ichinose. The only reason I'm choosing to show you my face is because I've decided to trust you. And because I want you to understand how far we're willing to go to bring our plan to fruition. My name's Shono, Captain. I'm currently researching a brand new drug called AD9, a drug that could very well save Japan, or, or, or maybe even the world if... A new drug, huh? Where do I come in? The reality of the situation is, we are under intense pressure to complete our work on AD-9 expediently. To that end, Hamura-san, we'd like to ask for your assistance. Ichinose. So the Ministry of Health is in on this too goes all the way up. Maybe it does. Are you familiar with the Medical Institute? Medical Institute. That's the organization that runs the ADDC. Yeah. It's home to the ADDC, and it makes a comfy place for all the health ministry execs to go retire. 
Well, it just so happens that the guy who founded it 20 years ago was none other than Ichinose. He rode that success all the way up to Vice Minister. In other words, his whole legacy's riding on the ADDC. AD9's gotta come out on top for him to stay on top. And he's willing to murder to make sure that happens? Yep. Ichinose is not the only one profiting, either. There are tons of parties involved, all being promised this much cash or that favor. If people have to die for AD9 to succeed, so be it. Hmm. Here's a question. Why'd you go after Kyori guys for the experiments? Just following Shono's orders. Shono told you to? Yep. He said there was a chance of the subject dying when we gave him the AD9. Now, if regular old civilians started disappearing, that'd make the news in no time. But nobody'd notice a few missing Yakuza during a turf war. Only natural there'd be some casualties, yeah? I guess so. That wasn't the only reason, though. Shono said... <sighs> he didn't want to perform dangerous experiments on innocent civilians. And what, these mm -hmm. Yakuza deserve this somehow? And why the did Kaji he do it on Waku? was the one trying to shut down the ADDC to begin with. And the Kyore were Kajihira's lapdogs. A couple of dead thugs didn't weigh on him too much. But don't shoot the messenger. Shono's the one who said it. You'll keep talking if you know what's good for you. Unless you want to go back to the hard way, I'm all for it. What else could you possibly want to know? Actually, I've got one more thing. Oh yeah? You made it sound earlier like you weren't that involved in the killings. But that's not the whole truth, is it? In fact, I have something that shows you actively helped carry out the Kyore killings. If the Hanamura took part in attacking the Kyore clan is... Is it this one? Take a look at this. Check this out. Look familiar? It's camera footage of you abducting Kume. So tell me, why'd you take the fall? They even got your face on tape. You're not usually that sloppy. <laughs> Answer me. That was right after we axed two Curie guys, one after another. They started catching on. Wouldn't go around town alone anymore. Keep going. When you're marked that on guard, nobody's laying a hand on him. Not even a trained assassin. So the mole needed a hand. Someone he could trust to keep the ball rolling. And that someone was me. So what happened after you left Amor? My guy took Kume out the back. Loaded him in the trunk of a car. Yeah, it always does blue. Him, just like all the other 89 tests. To the ADDC? No, not the center. I'm not sure where it is exactly. Some place Shono and Mole set up. So they carried out their human experiments in some kind of secret lab? Suppose they did. Then why'd they need to gouge the eyes out? No clue. He never told me. Maybe he wanted to make it look like a Yakuza killing. <laughs> or maybe the mole's just into some sick shit. We have more questions. Next up is Shintani. He had nothing to do with the Kyore clan, but you guys still used him as an AD9 test subject. Or was there some other reason you had him killed? Shintani's death. That was my fault. Huh? I took care of Kume. I was the one on the hook for it. Let me tell you, ending up in the slammer for a murder you didn't do is scary shit. 
Made me think. Wouldn't hurt to have some insurance. Insurance? Talked to Shintani before the trial, and told him this. If the pieces fall into place and I hang for this, look into Shono and the ADDC. So you told him about the deal you made with Ichinose? Not exactly. Shono was the only name I mentioned. But if anyone found out I spilled the beans to Shintani, well... I'd be betraying the cause. So I told the bastard, only go digging if shit really hits the fan. Why did he call Shono if he knew it was that important to you? Why did he start digging it up? Beats me. Got a pretty good theory, though. You wanna hear? Yeah, do tell. My guess? He didn't want to let you hog all the glory. Huh? He might have won my trial, but you're the one who found the key evidence. Shintani got recognition, sure, but it was only by association. Nobody said it, but they all knew. You did the real work. But even then, you didn't stop trying to show up the poor guy. Right mm. when the trial came to a close, there you were, hunting the real killer down. How do you think Shintani felt, sitting around waiting for you to stumble onto the truth? <laughs> Can't imagine he was sleeping well. <laughs> you might as well let this mole shit go. Think this is some kind of Yakuza pissing contest, do you? He oh, wanted to find out. The okay. mole is way bigger than you know. Shintani wanted to find the truth before you did. Wanted to earn his time in the sun. And that's why he called the ADDC? To investigate the killings himself? That's my theory. Can't back it up, though. Either way, the end result was the same. Ichinose found out Shintani was trying to get in touch with Shono. Signed his own death sentence. I'm sure it was plain as day that I was the guy who put him on the right trail. Ichinose is the one who gave the order. So, I had no choice but to silence Shintani. I even paid for the job out of my own pocket. And when it came to setting up a fall guy, we picked Ayabe. First, I got his gun. The mole was the one who used it to kill Shintani. He replaced the one bullet he fired, got rid of any traces that he used it, and put it back in Ayabe's holster. That's bad, man. That the bullet found in the body would have the rifling marks from his gun. Which meant it was an unshakable fact that Shintani was shot with Ayabe's weapon. Face it. Real cuts. Ayabe's alibi isn't gonna hold water. The guy doesn't even remember who attacked him? Right. Nobody'll buy that. Never. Fair enough. Although, what if we caught the mole and then forced you to testify in the trial? What was that? What's wrong? It smells like something's burning. What? <laughs> My boys must have finally decided to show up. You really want to meet the mole? Now's your chance. What's a gunny son? We gotta go. You too. Get up. Someone's dying here, dude. I feel like it's gonna be Matsugane. I'm gonna go ahead and suggest you let me walk away, boss. If I give the order, the family will fall back. At least then you'd live. Isn't that what you want? That's enough! If this Ministry of Health business is true, you're nothing more than a pawn to them. From where they stand, I'm sure you could be replaced. 
Oh, I don't know about that. You're an idiot, Hamura. Huh? Come on. I look like it actually hurt him. And he called him an idiot, yet yeah, he looks sad. You catch the bad guy? They're about they to. Went and started a fire downstairs. <laughs> no, he's gonna die! Waiting for this. That's a death stance. Captain! Oh, Marasa. He's got a bomb. How many they got? <laughs> Captain! That's it, they're so fucking dead! Hey, how did you pull off turning my family into goddamn terrorists? Chad, that's just like when you play TTT and you don't kill anybody with the bomb. Right. Leave Hammer up to me. We've cracked the case, Orca. We just need to find out who the mole is, the serial killer. His identity is the only thing we don't know at this point. Spell enemies will attack Matsugane and attempt to help Hammer. If Matsugane helps run out, the game will end. Be aware of your surroundings and protect Hanago. Ah! Let's go. We have to go. He's just walking there. I'm getting Spider-Man vibes from this song. You okay, Doc? That'll do it. Yeah, I'm good, sir. is still Don't in the building yo boss entrance <laughs> shut up be honest <laughs> oh 
Yo. Whoa. Not so fast. I'm just getting started. One small baby. Punch him in his weak spot! His belly! <laughs> Why are they so casual about the fire? This guy here, the one standing up. Captain, you okay? Matsugari-san. <gasps> this is our first time actually seeing him. Sagane! Hold on. What the fuck, man? Him. 
You knew too much. I wish I wasn't right. You're too damn soft. You didn't... You didn't have to protect me. <sighs> when I heard what you said... I knew you were right. This is all... My fault. No, it's not. I wasn't... Very good at the business side. And because of that... You had to protect the family... By crossing the line. <clears throat> there were signs, of course. I wasn't ignorant. That was really shocking. I looked the other way. Dude. Just, it's not often you see people way. die in these games. So just see someone just go out shooting like that? <laughs> oh my goodness. Blame you for, for all of that. You just did. What you had to. I'm sorry. No, not like this. Don't go. I wanted to. I wanted to. To make up for. It was the, the only way. You old fool. You didn't need to go that far. I only did. What any father would have. Masagane-san! Just hold on. Doc, my boy. This is it for me. Hurry and get out. Not without you. Uh, Let's go. The mole is Koroiwa. <gasps> now you know the truth. Kuroiwa is the one you want! What? No. Yeah, Matthew Mercer is the mole? Shit, dude. That was an insane cutscene. And Afuya. Patriarch Matsugane? He... He didn't make it. Oh, no. Kuroiwa. Huh? Did you say something? Matthew Mercer, right there. Kuroiwa. Back at the center of the crime scene, eh, Yagami? What the hell are you doing here? Yagami-kun, what's going on? I know. Don't fret, Fujisan. We just need to have a little chat at the station. No, he needs to get to a hospital. Looks fine to me. I'll watch after him otherwise. Are you a doctor now? He needs professional attention. Enough protesting. You'll be just fine with me. You don't even have a reason. It's okay. I'll go with you. I'm sure I'll be fine. You had yourself one hell of a night, huh, Yagami? Doesn't seem like it's ending anytime soon. <sighs> Could you at least take these off? Or am I gonna get booked? Afraid I can't. Wouldn't you know, someone went and lost the key. <sighs> Hamura told me everything. Told you what? Told me who you really are. You killed Vice Director Hashiki. 
You mutilated those Yakuza. And Shintani's all you too. I'm on to you. Well, that's a good story. But there's only one detective here. Let's start with the cabaret and what you were doing there. I know that you're the mole. I'm the one asking the questions around here, so... You aren't denying it. <laughs> Why don't you start by telling me what you were doing when you first noticed the fire? Hamura getting away is what's gonna bring you down for good. You really missed your big chance. Can you tell me who started the fire, at least? Matsukane-san is dead because of you. So the moment I get out, your ass is mine! <laughs> Let's see you try! <laughs> I don't think you realize. 89 gives me complete immunity. I'm talking about people that go all the way up the chain here. They see everything. When it comes to protecting 89's interests, there's no limit to what they'll do. Hamura is a loose end that I'll take care of eventually. And that's a fate you'll both share. This won't end with you alive. I don't mind that. All that matters is proving that you murdered them. <laughs> if you think you scare me, sorry. You has been fraught. Kuroiwa-san? There's a call for you. Just one second. Should I take over? Nah. I'm through here. The fire at the cabaret. Tojo clan and Kyore clan Yakuza are both responsible for starting it. Luckily, Yagami-san just happened to be nearby and saw the whole thing. This case is closed. Thank you for your time. I'll escort you out then, Yagami-san. Bruh. I'm exhausted. I just want to crash. Huh? Who is this from? Fuck off, Kim! Oh my god, Kim! You're the worst! Alright, let's read our text messages. Amane? Hello, your calamity. Amane. Hey, what's going on, Amane son? This is the Irish lady. Shut up, Yomo. I merely wish to thank you for going out of your way to believe me. Not just once, but thrice. Well, you made the request, so I'm just doing my job. Oh, most people don't believe my predictions whatsoever, but you did. I'm very grateful to hear that, Mr. Shelby. No one's ever done that much for me, so it filled my heart with joy. I believed you from the start. Oh, did you not mention you were skeptical at first? She loved me. Did I? Well, I'll put in a request if you ever need anything else. Certainly. We do make quite an excellent pair. Right. Oh my god, girlfriend? Chat girlfriend? Are you saying we'll continue working together based on the camera show, Calamity Busters? Oh my goodness. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not quite what I meant, lol. Ah, uh, perhaps my let my emotions get the best of me. Oh. Chat, do we go on that date with Nanami? Or do we keep going story? I'll let you guys decide. Date or story? Because we're in the thick of things right now. If it ain't Irish, it ain't for Mika. Wife, story. Uh, food. Hot. Story's hot. Story is hot. Wife. If a chat want wife. Hey Nanami-san, you and Yoko free tonight? 
Yeah, I am actually. I think Yoko should be as well. Glad to hear that. Let's meet up at Theatre Square then. Okay. We are a little injured. I have four medkits left. We can't eat yet. Uh, but where does she want to meet me is the question. Right here? Sana should be in bed though, it's late. And stay down. And stay down. I'm in there. Tell me, son, do you have a moment? What's going on? I happened to pass by you on the street, and that's when I saw a calamity. It was written all over you. My accent's getting worse. What, on me? Seriously? Yeah, there's no doubt about it. It was a, a cow calamity. A cow? Indeed. Shown you'll be, con be confronted by a cow. You must defeat it promptly. You're saying you saying I'm going to be attacked by a cow in Camarocho? That is one way of interpreting it. I'm, I'm not doing it anymore. Seriously, but how am I supposed to defeat it? In return for watching over me, so will I do the same for you. Once the calamity shows itself, we can tackle it immediately. Right. There's no need to wait in fear. I can't, I keep going back to it. We must go on the offensive, is that not what you do? Maybe. In other words, we're going to lure out the calamity and defeat it? Exactly. Instead of getting taken by surprise, we'll prepare the counter-attack. Therefore, we should go about the city in search of this bird. I, I mean, I know where the cow is. Meet up somewhere. I guess Fear to Square would be the easiest. Alright, I think uh, there was a bowling alley in that location, so let's meet in front of it. A weird one, to be sure, but a date nonetheless! Chat, we're on a date with a mystic lady! True, we do- we are out of presents, chat. What do you think a mane san would like as a gift? Chat, if you're a mystique, just wait till we get to the gift shop. Only down here. And then we'll get a taxi up to Theatre Square. Le Marsh, Le Marsh. No, please leave me alone. Hello, oh, sir. I would like to buy some gifts for some nice lady. Thank you for the dirty cloth. Hello. So, chat, what would she like? Maybe a midnight room? <laughs> Too expensive. Trinity Circle earrings. We'll get some pearl earrings for Nanami. Ah, uh, nah, nah. Uh, I'm not a big spender right now. What kind of person is she? A fortune teller. We just need to go to Theatre Square chat and then we've got two dates lined up. We have two dates. We've got one here and one here. Now we can wait. We have a side quest here too. No, 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 I'm not touching him. Over. 
We're meeting up with Armani. There's Armani. Who is him? Don't worry. Hey, Yagami san. Hey there. Something wrong? I see a cow. It is as I feared. I see a cow. Seriously? What should I do? Merely go about your usual business. Fear not. Or I shall keep watch over you. That's it? Well, I suppose we could at least kill time somewhere. Since you're coming along, is there anything you've been wanting to do? Let me think. You know, I do have a considerable talent for shogi. Not happening! Shogi? That's pretty obscure. However, I wouldn't mind going anywhere you want. As long as it has nothing to do with the sex industry. Hey, hey. I want to see I like that sort of really? thing. Really? I thought that all men were into that. What kind of assumption is that? Am I right, guys? I know. Maybe I'll give Amane san a gift. We can give her a kimono. You can have the kimono. She'll wear it on the next day. I should have a present for you, Amane san. Here, it's a kimono. I thought it Thank would fit you your so image. Much. Oh, she loves it. But. If I walk next to you wearing this, won't I look like your Yakuza wife? Hey. Who would take a one look at me and think I'm your Yakuza? Besides, it's only punks who give anyone trouble out here. <laughs> it wouldn't be so far-fetched that I would be a Yakuza wife under the escort of a family muscle, but that might be fun. I'll try and wear it next time we meet. Awesome. Bunny girls. Dude, there's no bunny girl outfits to give them. Oh wait, shut up, Logan. I get what you're saying. Well then, where should we go? We're not doing shogi, because I suck at shogi. We could go to the casino, because it's bunny girls at the casino. But chat, I'm a fucking baller when it comes to darts. You know what, we'll do shogi. She wants to do shogi. <laughs> I'm going to rely on you and chat to help me win. Chat, right, you better help me win. <clears throat> I see nothing that resembles a cow here. Mm, I'm sure there's nothing to be worried about regardless. Yeah. Well then, let's get started. I have to put my heart and soul into this match. Good, show me what you got. Boss pieces of the summon who goes first. There are more pawns, you go first. Oh, okay. So chat. When you find a girl you really like. You know, you know. <laughs> what the fuck? What do I do? Play this shit, man. How is this piece moving all over the shop? was intense. <laughs> I let her win. It appears as though as I've won. And you ruined me. I may have told you this already, but I quite usually am quite dominant on the shogi board. Perhaps we fortune tellers have the greatest observation powers of all. 
And I shouldn't have underestimated you. I feel like we watch you get thrashed. It's not true. It's not true. Fake news. Alright, looks like we're just about done. Do you want to go relax? The cow is behind her. That's true. I know where we are. I suppose that we should be wise, though. I'm starting to feel like we're actually on a date. Is that such a bad thing? I think we might as well enjoy it's ourselves. Good. Perhaps, but dropping your guard may just result in you getting trampled by a cow. <laughs> I'll be sure to keep an eye out. What cow? Cow? What cow? There's a cow. Cow statue. Find out more about her. Come to think of it, Amane san. I don't really know much about you. Other than your fortune telling, I mean. You saying that you're interested in me? I'm very interested in you. You mean that? Oh. Yeah. I'm curious what a fortune teller does in her spare time. You have any hobbies, perhaps? Mm. Well, I'm not entirely sure if this counts, but I like small animals, like hamsters and hedgehogs. Oh. She's the one. She's the one, chat. A fellow hedgehog lover? There's no flipping way. But anyone in chat who doesn't know, hedgehog's my favorite animal. Like, legit, like, a hundo. If you ever ask me what's my favorite animal, it's a hedgehog. Chat, I found my- found the one. You own one? Well. <gasps> I actually have a golden hamster named Yagami-san. Huh? What did you just say? I have a hamster named Yagami-san. <laughs> I realized it looked a lot like you, so I renamed it. Okay. I thought she had a pet hedgehog. No kidding. How would you describe a sign of calamity? I can't really imagine what that looks like. It's a hazy sort of image appears over someone's head. And these images are always the same? No, it depends on the situation. For example, it could be lashing tongues, a fire, or perhaps a mirage of darkness. Sometimes a sign will show up very clearly, like a photograph. Whereas other times it's a true form or remain clouded in haze. Huh. So, what does my cow calamity look like? I see a cow. It's nicely that. A cow. A large, fierce one at that. Covered in sinews that swell with strength. Like a matador's bull. The lashing tongues of fire. Like, you know. But they're made of fire. They're not actually tongues. Tongues of fire. Come on, visualize it. Close your eyes, visualize it. You yeah. see it right now? Oh, yeah, it's quite clearly, in fact. I suggest you avoid wearing red. Hmm, okay. Can you see these signs on other people That's passing true. by as well? I can, and whenever I do, I make sure to notify that person without compensation, of course. So you're volunteering, then? Yeah. Yeah. All I want to do is use my power to save lives, so I'm happy to do it free of charge. That's admirable. I don't think I could do that. You're at least able to feed yourself? Of course. It's not like I can survive by only breathing air. Every now and then, I'll pick up a part-time job or two that allows me to earn a lot within a short time. What kind of jobs are they? Mm. Mm, let's see. Nude modeling for one. What? That's the kind of work you do? Very well. Yeah. I was requested quite often due to my voluptuous figure, which supposedly is very ideal for painting. A man can only wonder. My client was a young art student. With too much lust for him to bear. He devoured every inch of my body with his gaze. I bet he did. If you ever find yourself painting, I'll be happy to model for you. It certainly won't be cheap, though. Okay. Once I save up enough, sure. In any case, I inherited a mansion from my parents, so at least I have somewhere to stay. I simply lack spending money. I see. Well, I'm glad you have a home. Is your fortune telling business going well? I would say so. Working on it. I guess it's not going too well. What's been bothering you, babe? Is this guy bothering you, babe? That's true. As a matter of fact, I am. But when I consider all the frightening calamities swirling about the populace, my troubles seem rather trivial in comparison. Have you ever thought about yourself? Huh? Pardon? I mean, you've paid my, for my services just to be able to warn people, and you've even got attacked in the process. It seems like the amount of effort you put into helping others, you sure don't get much out of it. 
You're a kind person, Yagami-san. I'm only kind to you. I'm only kind to the ladies. <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm only kind to the ladies. I had no idea you were such a flirtatious man. <laughs> I was only kidding. Were you really? Yeah, sure. You're comfortable enough. Would you tell me what's on your mind? My customers. What about them? They always get scared of me and run away. It happens whenever I warn them about their calamities. Wait. That's what's been bothering you? It has indeed. I offer them advice so they can avoid him in peril, and yet they flee as if I were something hideous. What's worse is that most people run away before I can even get the words out. I see. What could I be doing wrong? Well, how do you approach these people? <laughs> it could be always explained, but perhaps it'd be quicker to show you. Hey. You, sir, over there. You have a moment. Well, just like that, huh? Mm -hmm. Huh? You talking to me? How unfortunate. I detect a great calamity in your future. What? An academic disaster is about to befall you. Yes, I can see that. Studying will bring you a great misfortune. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? I've seen a vision. I have seen a vision. Be sure to, to guard your material possessions as you fill your mind with knowledge, lest you slip past both those of the void. What? Lady, what in the hell are you talking about? Why is this nonsense all of a sudden? Exams are coming up tomorrow, so stop bogging me down with such cryptic negativity. Hold on a man, eh, San? Hmm? Let's get back to our seats for now. Sorry about that, man. So, I got a grasp of how you usually are with people. There's definitely an issue here. Was there something amiss about my approach? Hmm. Yeah, you've got to be indirect. Well, I know it's tough because you don't exactly know what the calamity is, but on the other hand, no one has any real reason to believe you. Hmm. And with your approach just now, it almost sounded like you were threatening a guy with impending doom isn't my intention, although it is the truth. In that case, I suggest you try to make it sound a little less... frightening? You're right. I'll be mindful of that next time. Get a pic. How about we take a picture together? Something to remember this by. You know, I think I'd like that. Hey, cheese! What's that? Looks good. Do you mind sending that to me later? Fuck. <clears throat> Nagami sound look. It's that student from earlier. What about him? A calamity of studying will surely attack that young man. Should we not watch over him, or at least deliver a proper warning? Are you absolutely sure something bad's gonna Aye. happen to him? Fate does not bear false witness, Yagami san. There is no doubt in my mind. Alright. I'm on it. I'll go with you. Thank you. Hmm? Hmm? What's this other guy doing? Could he be... A thief! Hey! That bag you're holding? It's not yours, is it? Hmm. And if you return it without raising an issue, I might just let you off the hook without getting the police involved. I'm sorry. I... It honestly happened on a whim. I'll give it back right now, so please don't call the cops. Thank you so much for getting my back. My precious bag. It's like you got focused on studying. You didn't even notice it was gone. Seriously. I almost got screwed. The admission form for my upcoming exams inside the... Mane-san was spot on yet again. Thank you for believing in me, Yagami-san. I'd be stupid not to recognize you. Well, we are partners. I guess we've come a long way together. Indeed. And I will admit, it's reassuring to have you here with me. I'd like to extend our partnership. Seems as though you have power to resolve calamities, whereas I have the power to predict them. Perhaps this could make quite an interesting relationship. I'm glad you think so.
I like Amane. I'm sad we didn't get the relationship up to uh, level 1. Maybe we still have a chance? It would seem that the cow calamity decided not to manifest today. In fact, it's as if it's moving away from you. Maybe you just need the right catalyst? She's really milking those cow puns for all they're worth. I'm gonna have to keep up somehow. Bye then. Fuck! 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 Do I do this other date of Nanami? Me do it. There she is. Anami's on the left, and that's her friend on the right. Yagami san. Hey, Yagami san. Yagami san. Hello there, Mr. Hampson. I'm back. Hey there, ladies. Let me give you a proper introduction this time. This is Yakiko. Onagawa. You can call Yako for short. <laughs> nice to officially meet you. Let's see. So I work at an office in Tokyo. I'm 29 years old and currently on the hunt for a nice, good looking boyfriend. And this here's Yagami san. He's a detective in Kamurocho. Nice to meet you. First name's Takayuki, and I'm 35. Hmm. What is it? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking you're a real feast for the eyes. Hmm. Thank you? Yagami san. In case you didn't catch it earlier, Yako's currently single? Uh huh. He's also pretty cute. Isn't she? Mm-hmm. It's just something about you. It's like you stepped right out of a romance drama and into my life. Mm-hmm. That's hilarious. So, shall we get going? Oh, where to? Oh, I'd ask you ladies. Mm -hmm. I really don't mind, as long as we can have fun together. Mm. Okay, then. She's just like me, for real. How about darts? That'd be good for free people. Sounds like a plan. Well, just so happens I'm a darts master, baby. No, oh, it's actually my first time and I can't wait for you to teach me. <laughs> Lucky for you, Yoko, you've got yourself a handsome coach now. I sure do. Thanks for bringing it along, Nanami. I'm just gonna wipe the floor with her. I'm gonna wipe the floor with her. Did you get all that? Got it. Not only are you easy in the eyes, but you're easy to learn from too. <laughs> really? Good. Then let's get started. We play darts with mouse chat. Let's go. <laughs> You're gonna stand behind me the whole time. saying before but we got a triple bullseye first try miss crash I think I'm supposed to see the dartboard in that square but it's bugged oh she got a ball Nice. Nice. Oh, please. Yep. Nice. Nice. One hundred and eighty. Yes. Got another bullseye. Bull seventeen. Okay. If I can get 180, you can win. Nice. Nice. Uh oh. 
Mm-hmm. I can win next turn. Uh-oh. I win next turn. I need to get a triple 20. How did you miss the board? Okay, chat. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. My turn, then. I need 111. I need a bullseye. Yep. Okay. I need a single 11. Uh-oh. I'll take a double 11. That just changes what we need in the middle. Triple 13. 13. Nice. Woo! Suck my balls, bitch! Easiest win of my life. You win, Yagami-san. Sorry. I thought I was going soft on you. Oh, Yagami-san. Soft or hard, you can go on me at any time. Gotta say, Yagami-san, that was pretty impressive, wasn't it? <laughs> now that we had our fun, why don't we sit down and talk That's for a while? That's true. That's true. Sure, definitely. Let's pour our hearts out to each other. Yako's growing on me, chat. Yako's growing on me. Bring us some water, please. <laughs> You guys don't know how excited I am right now. This is totally like a matchmaking session. And why don't we play a role of matchmaker? Show them what you got. Mm, I'll show them everything I have to offer. I guess Nanami doesn't consider herself dating material. Or maybe she thinks that way about me? Now, what should I talk about with these two? Ask about preferences of man. Or ask about Yako. Hmm... They can both answer this one. Hey, I know since we're all sitting here together, I wanted to ask you both. What's your ideal kind of guy? You're asking me to? Of course. Well, I'm pretty sure you're the embodiment of Nanami's perfect man. Huh? Hey! You said you only get with a man you could respect, right? What? Why are you focusing on me all of a sudden? Because you already know my answer, don't you? As long as he's good looking, he's good to go. Kick the words right out of my mouth. That's seriously her only criteria? So, you like someone you can respect? It's a good place mm. to start. Also a tough place to start, given how few have earned it. Respect can't be handed out just to anyone. True. Sounds like you know a lot about that. Is there someone you admire in particular? Hmm, it's kind of hard to say. But watch out, Yagami-san. As you may have noticed, Nanami's looks can kill, but her heart is even deadlier. Nanami is a wife, if you won't have her. Uh, she... she's she's not up for grabs. I'm sorry, Aunt Olga. Huh? Hey, just what are you trying to say here? Only that you're really good at attracting men without realizing it and then pushing them away once you do. You see, Nanami's incredible, incredibly capable on her own. Plus, she's super smart, so she gives us guys any... She never gives any guys leeway! Come on. Come on, that's totally not how it is. You sure? What about those guys you rejected back in high school? And in college? And after you started working? Do you even brush off that really sexy hunk back in our senior year? I still can't believe you did <sighs> that. Oh, I wasn't into him. What else should I have done? You're not like the concept of dating? What about the last guy you dated? She hasn't... Has she, I don't even know if she's dated. You're not like the no. concept of dating. Not necessarily. I just happen to have a really amazing job that I enjoy more than anything. But isn't that kind of an excuse not to try? What if all your opportunities disappear? And let them. I'm perfectly fine with how things are. Are you really okay with losing your shot at happiness? My career is how I define my happiness. Oh? What about the saying, a woman's happiness is love and marriage? Oh. Yet another antiquated ideology manufactured by the mass media. What does that even mean? 
hey, no need to get upset over it. It's okay to agree to disagree about something. Yoko-san, you said you work at an office here in Tokyo. I do. I'm a secretary at a stationery company. Stationery, huh? That's neat. Mm. Isn't it? What's your favorite kind? Mm. Of stationery? Hmm, that is a question. Come on, Yako. You really think he's into stuff like that? Ah, uh, you're right. Because I'm just into stationery, I automatically assume everyone else is too. But you know, my true passion is theater. Theatrical arts, to be precise. Theater? Hmm. Yep. Yako's been a stage performer ever since we went to college. Wow, so you're an actor? Yeah. It's a shame Nanami doesn't come to any of my shows, though. I told you. I've been very busy lately. I say that every time. But I know you're just not interested. Come on, that's not true at all. By the way, Yoko-san, you said you two have been friends for how long? Since middle school. I knew from the day we met, we ended up being besties for life. Hmm. And what was it about her that made you think that? <clears throat> well, as soon as I saw her, I just had this feeling. It was like being hit by lightning. Have you ever felt that way? It was when I first saw you, Yoko-san. It was when I first saw Nanami-san. I'm sorry, Yako. Even you said yourself that she, she, I'm perfect for her. Just recently, as a matter of a fact, it was when I first laid eyes on Nanami-san. Huh? What? Me? Yep. Felt like a high voltage current coursing through my body. Hmm. hmm. Sure it wasn't just static electricity? Uh... Oh. Hmm. Maybe it was. No wonder it felt so shocking. Oh my god. That was too cute, Yagami-san. I'm serious. Static electricity really just build up around this time of year. Nanami, I bet you felt a nice little zing the moment you saw Yagami-san, huh? right? Just what are you implying? Nanami, you said it yourself. That you finally met a guy who amazed you? Wait, that's not what I... Keep going. I think it was just after the first time you two met. Nanami said you were amazing, reliable, and someone she could actually respect. Oh, well, I'm on it. Come on. Jeez, Yako, you really can't keep a secret, can you? Well, I'm glad she said what she did. That makes me really happy. Oh, come on. I said that purely out of gratitude. I mean, I do respect certain aspects of you. Girl! Girl! You would not stop raving about this guy. He's got this unique perspective, does everything his own way. Hey! And I'm not just telling you to shut your mouth! I'm trying to help you out here. Besides, you both look like a perfectly natural couple. Bet you'd make some real cute babbis. <laughs> oh, Shiyoko. You're still getting too attached to the wrong idea and running with it as far as it can go. You haven't changed a bit. And I'm saying that you have. When was the last time you ever complimented a guy, if at all? You used to hate men. So me. So me. OMG. Whoa, really? That's a rather extreme way of putting it. I guess you're a really special guy, Agamemnon. So. Don't take her too seriously, okay? This girl loves to talk. Seems like these two really know each other. I wonder what the other secrets Yoko-san will let slip. Ask about Nanami. Yoko-san, if you only had a couple words to describe Nanami, what would those be? Hmm. As a fellow woman, I would say cool yet cute, stylish yet smart, and I guess very hardworking. As a fellow woman. Wow, those are some good compliments. Ugh, she's just trying to make you like me. No, I was totally being serious. You always had the best grades out of all us girls. Plus, you're still the prettiest. Oh, <sighs> you even interested in hearing this nonsense, Yagami-san? <laughs> Why wouldn't I be? I've always been the curious type. Especially about people I'm getting to know. What about you, Nanami-san? Huh? What about me? Hmm. Are you asking if I'm interested in you? I know for a fact she is. Yo, this guy, this girl's a snitch, man. She is a snitch. Big time. What the fuck, man? Yako. I like to think I understand Nanami pretty well by now. Are you actually interested in me, Nanami-san? Oh, I think you're a very interesting person. I suppose I should be glad to hear that. Now well then, maybe we should start heading out. That's true. Sure. 
With a wing woman. There's a difference between being a wing woman or a wingman and just a straight up snitch. She be snitching yeah. big time. Hey Yagami san, when do you exchange numbers with Yoko? Sure, it's a good idea. Nah. Eh, not to me. Mm hmm? What is it? Me being friendly with Yagami san doesn't bother you at all. Huh? I would it. Well, as long as it's alright with you, I guess it's fine. Huh? Hey then? Come on, Yagami san, let's see that smartphone. Oh. She's gonna hook us up. Yoko, did you have a good time today? I sure did. But I can't quite say the same for you, Nanami. Oh? Is that alright? <laughs> it's not true. I was just a little tired. I figured. <laughs> I bet you were just nervous being around the only guy you've liked in years. What? Stop making things up! Well, thanks for coming out today. No, thank you for taking us. Let's keep in touch, okay? Bye! Kim! Kim keeps cocking, man. Didn't seem too into our last date. Maybe I should send her a text? Thanks for coming with me today. I had a great time with you. As did I. Invite me out again sometime, okay? Sure. Let's keep in touch. Definitely. Nice. NICE! Intimacy, intimacy level 3. Amane too. Nice chat. Nice. We're working it. We're working it big time. Check out Quick Starter. Oh, new text. To meeting up with Yako today. She was really happy to see you. Did you have a good time too? Oh, absolutely. Let's hang out again. Sure. I'll make sure to tell Yoko too. The so Yoko's already included, huh? I'm okay with that. Oh my god. Who now? Yoko. <laughs> Dude, is her profile picture really just sliced pork? <laughs> Thanks for today, Yagami-san. No, thank you. I actually really had a great time. Oh, that's because you're such a fun guy. By the way, I'm pretty sure Nanami's interested in you. You mentioned something like that during a date. Why? Nanami brings you up a lot whenever we talk. She wouldn't talk about you so much if she wasn't interested in you. Besides, I was watching how she acted during the date. It's just a hunch, but I felt something's there. Guess you can call it a woman's instinct. But she said she wasn't interested in dating. That's just an excuse that she doesn't get hurt by anyone. She may not like it, but she's actually pretty sensitive. Really? Yeah, that's why Nanami will never take the first step, so please just ask her out on a date. I'm sure Nanami will open up her heart if it's with you. You sure? Totally. I know she'll say yes. She will? Stop asking questions! She's going to, Yagami. How many times are you gonna ask? I, that's what I'm saying, Yako! The only thing it takes is to unfreeze her frozen heart is your burning love. I got plenty of that. Yo, I like Yako, man. But if Nanami still won't budge, you can always give me some of that fire. Heck, I'm hot enough for you as that is. Yeah, sure thing. Dude, I like Yako. Alright, main story time, chat. You asked for it. <laughs> Why is everybody screaming? I really like the writing in this game. The dates are really fun. So far, though, I definitely think. Hi, Mister. Are you Yagami? Who the fuck yeah. are you? Who's asking? I have a present for you. What is it? I don't know. Some guy told me to give it to you. He said he was a friend. Oh, and he said to open it right away. Huh? Whoa. 
What? Wonderful, Yagami-san. Such stunning reflexes. You even avoided doing any property damage. Who the fuck are you? Well, did you enjoy my present? It was given to me as a gift by an old business partner of mine. Who the hell are you? No, oh, pardon my rudeness. This is my car. From the health ministry? I thought he was going to flip me off. Koga? Oh, you don't know me? Hmm, I see. I see. In that case, perhaps I should start over. Oh. My name is Matsuhisa Koga, one of the Keihin Four. I came to see what all the fuss is about. And introduce you to my way of doing things. You know, our reputation has taken quite a hit thanks to your antics. That being the case... This is side story, this isn't even main. ...to put a stop to this farce. <clears throat> you guys are the farce. <laughs> Enough talk. Show me what you can do, Yaga. I'm just gonna explode you. Pull out a gun. He's dual wielding. Hello? Like, what do you do against someone like that, chat? How is that A-OK? -okay? Man, just dual wield, uh, gun, gun me. You guys are Enough talk. Show me what you can do, Yagami son. Okay. You want to go there? You want me to show you what I can really do? Time to call upon thou who art in heaven. <laughs> Heavenly Father above, bless thy. You're as strong as they said you'd be. It seems fortune is not on my side today. I surrender. You win. Hi, Koga. Uh, already? In the business world, one must always know when to withdraw. If Matsuhisa Koga lost to some thug on the street, our reputation would be in tatters. My business partners would never take me seriously again. I don't know why they would to begin with. Now I must retire. Until the day I get revenge. Farewell, Yagami-san. Bye. Can't these guys just leave me alone? I've met all four of the Kaihin gangs now. Or the last one. Bedtime. Yeah, yeah. Sugiura. Hey, what's up, man? Look. You say hi to Angry Cat. Is this Angry Cat? Ah, this isn't Angry Cat. I miss Angry Cat. Oh, wait, it is Angry Cat. I don't know if it is Angry Cat, and it makes me upset. But we still need to listen to this. We got given this by Sana. That's why we don't play the arcade games in this game, Crash. That's why we don't fucking play them. Is he okay? Doctor said he'll be back on his feet in a few days. We took him to some back alley joint. Hush hush, you know? Didn't realize you had those kinds of connections. Actually, he was a friend of Kaito's. I haven't seen it. 
Sounded like they go way back. Couldn't you have just gone to a hospital? That's what I thought. Kaito-san was pretty insistent, though. Said he didn't have time to deal with a bullet in the gut. That's Kaito. How'd everything go with you? I heard the Kyure Club burned down. Yeah. Things were... tough. <laughs> Sounds like you could use some rest, then. I could, Jasta. Heading out, then? Even though I know how to say your name now. I just figured I'd stop by to tell you about Kaito-san. Well, like calling you, Jasta. Now that I know you're safe, too, I'm gonna go pass out at home. You do that. Good night. Chat, a character who I love <clears throat> and doesn't... I, I feel like they didn't get the love they deserved in the game they were in. Is the Chinese character uh, from... Yakuza 7. The Chinese guy was so fucking cool. What was it? Zhao? Z-H-A-O? Zhao? I'm pretty sure that's his name. Zhao was so fucking cool. He dressed so fucking good. I miss Zhao. Zhao was so cool. So many side quests I need to do. Yeah, Zhao was cool. I want more of him. And I know he's in Ishin. Not as Zhao, obviously. He plays a different character, but it's him. Yeah. <sighs> well. yakubi kun It's Mafia. Did I wake you up? Yeah, Something. it's fine, though. The moles claimed another victim. Another Kyure clan Yakuza. What? Head to the Matsugane family office if you can. All right, I'll be right over. Yagami-san! Yukako? Huh? What's wrong? Fuck oh, Yagami-san! This is bad! Wait, aren't you that girl from the haunted apartment thing? Yes, Yukako Oki! Yagami-san, you're a detective, aren't you? I need your help! Try to calm down, what happened? He... Marilla is missing! Huh? Missing? Maru is your boyfriend, right? Yeah! This is the one that Yomo voice acted. My darling Snookums, he's missing! How long has he been gone? Two hours! It's been a full two hours since he's contacted mm -hmm. me! Wait, two hours? I mean, that's all? What do you mean? That's all! I'm not doing this voice, because this is serious. Uh, excuse me. How about you take a deep breath and explain what happened? Yeah, alright. Ever since I found with the apartment, the love Maru, Mam Mamoru, and I share was on has only grown deeper. When we see can't see each other, we make sure to contact each other every huh? twenty minutes. Every twenty minutes? It's hardly enough, but we both have jobs, so it's best the best we can mm. do. These two are nuts, but I knew that already, didn't I? But it's been over two hours since I heard from him now. Could it be that he got busy? Why do I keep reading Bussy? I keep reading Bussy every time I see it. Man. That was my first fault too, so I called the company, but they said he hadn't showed up today. But I know he got up and left for work this morning, and if he's up there, it's a big cow. What the hell is he doing? I went to the police, but they didn't even know how to take me seriously, much less organize a search party. I don't know what to do. If anything happened to him, I would probably just die. Okay, Yukako. You're, you're like a 10, okay? Can you come down to like a 6? Maybe in two hours. Have you considered that he might just come back? You don't believe me either. You're the only one with them, aren't you? Where did they my, take my sweet pickle puppy? Wait, whoa, back it up. How did you even survive a leap of logic that long? I didn't take him. If you didn't take him, then help find him, please. I'll kill myself right here and now if you don't. Okay, okay. On the case. I'm charging the same time as last time now. 80k. Yeah, just find him as soon as possible. We don't have any leads right now, unless you have anything you can find on your phone. I'm gonna think of it, I think Maramaru said it too. Sorry chat, I keep you holding. Can't wait, your location share is turning on. Yeah, whoops, that totally slipped my mind. Well, can you check? That might crack the case, you know. Oh, what's going on? Got it, he's at Theatre Square. Okay, tell you what, you go and wait at home, I'll see if he starts heading back, and I'll head to Theatre Square. Okay, good point. Oh, get the fuck out of my office! Oh, let's just hope he's there.
Yomo's a voice actor? He is. I'm sorry, but if there's anything involved in Mafuya, you know we're there, chat. Konnichiwa. Hello. Hello, me, sir, but you look awfully tired. I recommend a full body de stress package pronto. Mm -hmm. Talking to me? <laughs> yeah, I'm talking to you. I was thinking I could come over to your place sometime and ease those throbbing muscles. Mm. Uh, so I'm not really into that kind of Just massage. Not. I'll pass. The heck? Never, never said I was going to do anything weird. I'm a mobile massage therapist, for crying out loud. Oh. Whoops. You're darn right. Whoops. Are there no actual health professionals here in Kamarucho? <laughs> anyway, name's Sakura Amamiya. And I fixed busted backs and broken hearts from Sotenbori all the way to Tokyo. Okay. Hmm. Broken hearts, huh? You sound an awfully scammy right now, lady. Come on, it's just part of my bit. You'll understand once you have your first session. Right now I'm offering my services for the very low price of 3,000 yen an hour. My hands are pure magic, I'll start told. Yeah, now I'm even more skeptical. Being a weirdo and just try it out, or at least take my contact info. You're not able to call Sakura Amiya office using the messages app. Okay. Let me text you whilst I'm right here. Is that you? Yeah. Wait, this would be a bad time to call her. Better wait until I'm alone in the office. I'm alone and I'm in the office. Man, I'm exhausted. Maybe I should call that masseuse. 3,000 yen an hour is not bad. Press a massage. Hey, can I get a massage from time? Betcha, just give me your name and address and I'm there. Blah 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 blah. So I'll be right over. Yo, Yagami built! Yagami san! Well then, let's get you set up right quick. Yeah. Yeah, set me up good. I'm surprised, Yagami san. Your muscles are actually quite tense. Being a detective that yeah. tough? More or less. I do a bit of everything, from investigating affairs to finding lost cats. Oh my, that does sound rather exhausting. But even so, I've never seen anyone wound up this bad. Am I gonna be okay? This ain't just a matter of being okay or not. You keep pushing yourself like this, you'll end up losing your life. Y you mean I'll die? Yeah, I recommend a heavy dose of acupuncture. On the double. Tell me where you feel the most pain, because that's where the needles will go. But, I'm kind of scared of needles. Does this really make me feel better? Hmm, sure hope so. This is my first time sticking a needle in someone after all. Huh? What? You serious? Am I really going to be alright? Maybe, if everything goes according to the luck of the needles. <laughs> you might heal up and you might feel like a new man. New man. You might not and suffer irreversible consequences. Huh? Irreversible consequences? Just what are you trying to do to me? Just playing around. Thought some Osaka style humor would, would loosen you up a bit. What do you think that helped? Well, I'm about to find out, so let's get to puncture. Since the session's 3,000 yen, each needle costs a thousand, and I'll be using free needles on you. Interesting. What, what's, what's, uh, shoulders, right? Like, I'm thinking top back. You want it? Right here? I would never get that done. Acupuncture? Never in my life would I have acupuncture done. <laughs> wow, that was quite a howl. You alright then, partner? Still alive? I hope so. I like my spine was being shattered by a shockwave of suffering. Are you sure these needles are safe? Dude, how are you so freaked out? You're a man, aren't you? Grow a pair and calm the heck down. You'll live, I think. Huh? Even if I do survive, this is pure agony. <laughs> if it hurts, that means it's working. Alright, where should I put the next one? Uh, head? Okay. Let's work this up, down, up, down, up, down. So, boots, calves, we'll do feet next. Take that. Fuck! 
Oh, is that right? Feels good, don't it? Mm. Holy! It's like a surge of energy. It's welling up within my bones. Well, well. Must be nice to be so young. Alright, where should I put the next one? You know what I think this is doing? I think this is healing me. Because I'm at full health. It's it's not, like... Because my health bar popped up. Gosh dang it. I seem to have missed again. Sorry about that. <laughs> Whew. That was some good practice. You do have some high threshold for pain. Bet I could torture you all day. Friend. Huh? How about not doing that? <laughs> you Tokyo folks really have no sense of humor. I bet you wouldn't last a day in Osaka. And I've decided Osaka scares me. Good. You best not take Osaka lightly. Alright then. Give me a ring if you feel like getting another massage. But I think she, like, you know when you have health that you can't regain? She, you can call her and she'll fix you up. I think that's what that did. Hey, Sana. Nagami san, can we meet up again? There's something I need to tell you. Of course, is something wrong? No, it's more like I need to sort out how I feel. Are you free right now? <sighs> oh, I'm not, but we'll do it for you, Sana. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Should I buy a present for Sana? I've got something on me. I need to make sure she's alright, chat. After we help Sana, we're gonna get a taxi. Yeah, we'll get a taxi to the northeast. Bring it on. Dude, I just healed. And this guy just fucking shot me. I am honestly a little pissed. Sand. Stay down. What's up, bro? Ugh. I'm so mad about getting shot. Look how much health it took off. I was just one bullet. Alright, what's going on with Sana? Didn't Sana-san say she wanted to meet me in a suit? Well, I have one. I might as well wear it. She's in disguise. Yeah. Pal, Yagami-san. That's a really nice suit you have on. It looks really good on you. And you are... Wait. Sana-chan? What's with the hair? Heh. <laughs> it's a wig, silly. How people will notice it's me. Just like a real celebrity, huh? Having to go incognito? What should I give her? You can have the earrings. So I actually have something for you. What? Really? Yeah, check this out. Oh, wow. Uh, thanks? You like it? Well, I'm happy you were thinking of me. It doesn't really fit your style, does it? To be honest, it is a little flashy. But that doesn't mean it's bad. Hmm, I thought it'd look good on you. I'll have to try it out sometime. I knew it was a little bit over the top. Now, where should we go today? Arcade. Okay. How about the arcade? Works for me. Let's get a plushie. 
What one do you want? Yagami-san. Yagami-san, I really want that plushie. I'm collecting them right now. Gotcha. You picked a nice and easy one. Are oh, you kidding me? That thing flew all over the place. Man, I wish arcades were more popular in the UK. It's a shame that they died out. They're so far and few between now. I'm sorry, but I want that dog. Chat. Are there any arcades where you guys live? Like, if you wanted to go to an arcade right now, can you think of one? Nah, yeah, me too. And I think if I was to name one... No, I can think of one, actually, that I know is still there. But the one that I would name, I don't know if it is still there. And if it is, it's quite far away from me. It's not even in Cardiff. I'm getting this dog. This should be it. Ooh, I don't even think I can reach that anymore. Both modern and retro for me. Even a modern arcade will do. Get this guy out of the way. I should have one more. I think this is way too far. Yeah, I can't even reach it. Unless... Ooh. I'm gonna keep going for this. leg is sticking out. Ooh, just a little more. Oh, is it too far back now? It's, I've like pushed it too forward. Oh, yes! Nice. Got one left. May as well try and clean house, yeah? This is my last one, though. Not put another credit in if this one doesn't come out. Check the site, now I remember everything there. Even a karaoke room. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, 
Yeah! You did it! Wow, that's so cool. I can't believe you actually got one. <laughs> I finally got the hang of it. I really have this? So I sure hope so. So much, I promise I'll take good care of it. <laughs> that was really fun, Yagami-san. You think we could go back to your office? Sure, then you can finally take that wig off. Now, what should we talk about today? How have you been? Yeah. <clears throat> well, I'm a lot more used to the spotlight than before. The only thing that worries me is one of my agency's policies. Kind of policy. Well, since their place is high priority on marketing the talent as young and romantically available, there's a no dating policy until you're 27 years old. So that's what's been going in here. That is a problem indeed. Hmm. How is that a problem? For you? Well, it just oh, is. May I ask why? Hmm, I wonder. Oh, hey, you're messing with me. Or what? <laughs> Maybe. But still, robbing a girl of romance at such a critical time in her life? That's a cold-blooded thing to do. Mm. Well, it's not like I didn't see it coming. I've always been ready to give up my personal life for a singing I... career. Or at least that's what I used to think. These days, I'm not so sure. Maybe you just need some time to take out... Uh, maybe you just need some time to reflect. You've had so much to deal with ever since your yeah. debut. It's true, but there's also another reason. And that is... Promise you won't laugh? Cross my heart. Oh, okay. I don't remember if I told you this, but there's actually someone I like. Oh? So when were you writing the lyrics to your love song? They were referring to someone real. Yeah. Yeah. I am... Thanks to him, I can finally put my feelings into words without worrying about it sounding fake. But if I have to let him go, then I'm afraid I won't be able to write from my heart. <laughs> After all, love is what powers my music. For a moment, I really couldn't tell that it was you. You give off a completely different vibe when you're blonde. <laughs> <laughs> so, which do you like better? <laughs> your usual hair is better. <laughs> I prefer your usual hair. So you're saying I don't look good blonde? Oh, that's not it at all. I just prefer the more natural look, I guess. So you like a girl with straight hair and a bob and a low-key haircut? And a low-key hair color. Well, yeah, I guess so. Hmm, hmm good to know. Who'd you like? Sanderchen. About the guy okay. you like. Wh what about him? And you know him. I think I might know who he is. Or at least I have an idea. Really? Seriously? Of course. Detectives have an eye for this sort of thing. But if you felt like giving me a clue to work with, I certainly wouldn't mind. Not that I need one or anything. <laughs> Not very subtle, are you? I suppose I could drop you a hint out of charity. For the best. Okay then. So, the man who captured my heart? What about him? He's kind? Dependable? Someone you can count on to make you laugh or even smile? Even when you're having the worst day? That's why I like spending time with him. In fact, it seems like we never have enough. Since it always goes by so fast. And whenever we're together, I find myself wishing our day would never end. As unrealistic as that sounds? Damn, sounds like one incredible guy. Do I know him? <laughs> That's all you get, Yagami-san. So much for inductive reasoning. I didn't learn a thing. Okay. How about we take a picture? Put the wig on at least! A funny picture. How's this? No! <laughs> this picture sucks! We take another one! <laughs> Looks good. Yeah, I'll send it to you later. What we have time for today. Yagami -san. Appreciate you letting me come over like this, Yagami san. Anytime. Feel free to drop by whenever you need to unwind. Think of it as your own private sanctuary. Mm. But wouldn't that conflict with your work? Hey, I could always use a new assistant. <laughs> oh yeah? And how much will you pay? Uh I'll get back to you on that. Oh. Uh oh. I had a lot of fun today, Yagami-san. 
Time just flew right by, didn't it? Intimacy level four! Okay. Let's hang out again soon. Definitely, Thank I'll you keep so you updated. Yes, Anna. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. No. I'm not getting distracted. Main story. No distractions. We've been on three dates. We've had a massage. And that was straight after Matagane san died. We've had our time in the sun. No distractions. Straight to where we need to go. What happened here? Is this the fire? Yeah. They've already ID'd the victim. Mafuyu. Satoshi Shioya, captain of the Kyore clan. You knew him, yes? Wait. Mm -hmm. If it was really the mole, that means his eyes have been gouged out? So I hear. I was the cool guy. I haven't confirmed it. The one whose ass we beat. Better that you don't. <sighs> who's handling the case? Kuroiwa again? Yes. He's right over there. Speaking of which, Yagami-kun, what happened last night with the interrogation? Listen, Mafuyu. Hmm? It's Kuroiwa. He's the mole. <gasps> what? Apparently he and Hamura have been working together for years. At first, he was just a dirty cop. Not too different from Ayabe, I guess. But eventually he found murder was profitable. And that's not all. Shono from the ADDC is the one who's been hiring him to do his dirty laundry. And these corpses with their eyes gouged out? Human experiments, every one of them. All for 89. <sighs> this won't end. I just confronted Shono the other day. Said I was on to his insane tests. And now... There's a new body like nothing's changed at all. I can only see one way this shakes out. There's gonna be more deaths before this is all over. Even when he's this close to being all but caught, he's not gonna stop for anything. There's no doubt now. So now? Shono, he... He seems like this quiet, harmless scientist when you see him on the job. Except... 89 changes who he is. Makes the guy a monster. <sighs> Completing his drug will save millions. Not to mention their families. It would change the whole world. With all that power protecting Dr. Shono, he'd risk everything he has. It's us against anyone that money can buy. Fuck you! Bitch, who the fuck are you? going to do why not walk away wish I could Matsugane son's death can't go unanswered he deserves closure they won't get away with this
of chat. In total, this game has 12 chapters. We're on chapter 11. We're going to end it there and finish this next stream. Everything comes to a close on the next chapter. Oh, my goodness. Oh. We finish this tomorrow. Um, yep, yeah, not going to set a time, but I'm going to finish this tomorrow. Probably going to go live in the evening because I'm sleeping in. But we will finish this game once and for all. Here tomorrow. I'll catch you all there. Thank you for watching. There is a game. There is a song. Sorry. I want an outro on. We're going to finish this with a song. I can't seem to find it here. You'll have to YouTube it. YouTube. There it is. This is Sana Chan's song. Thank you for watching, chat. Catch you all next stream. We'll be live tomorrow. Um, and we'll start ishing at some point. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Take care.